Oh, hi you guys, and welcome to another day of D&D! Boy, have we got some games lined up for you today. So, uh, today we return with Pirates of Paradise. But before we do, let us, let us, let us, let us go through where you guys can find all the things that you need to find. If you guys want to enjoy or create artwork to do with the stream, uh, you need to get in the Discord. We've got about four different art channels in there and some amazing artists. Um, we also talk about D&D. &D. People post about when they're looking for people for games and all that sort of thing. It's 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 a, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. It's a, it's a nice community in there. Real nice. I love this community. Uh, if you guys want to come and join in in some one-shots and come and play along with us, uh, you, you, you send me a message on Twitter. Uh, I still have a few spaces in June, but purely because I added more days of D&D, because June fell up, filled up so fast that I'm now taking up, right, I'm now uh, going all the way up to uh, um, July taking bookings. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to play some games, get into it, send me a DM, we'll get you a game. Uh, and uh, lastly is YouTube. I will be uploading things to YouTube, but I am very behind, so um, they will be uploaded. Give me time. It'll work. Uh... I am now on Patreon uh, for an extra, more stable form of support. Uh, if you guys uh, want to support the channel and what we're doing over here, uh, you'd be very much appreciated. And um, there are all sorts of cool things going on over there as well. I'm about $2 off my first goal. So, um... <laughs> um but yeah, that's me. Let's go and get the guys for um, for some D&D &D action. Pirates of Paradise, here we come. <laughs> Hello! I got. Hi! You're live! <laughs> <laughs> I sure am! <laughs> yes, you are. Hello. So, uh, welcome guys. Thanks for returning for Pirates of Paradise. I'm looking forward to this so much. Um, <laughs> shall I. Uh, Lindy, how do you want to do this? Shall I hand over to you for you to do all the introductions and everything no, in the scene? No. Or do introductions and then go to you? Carry on! Carry on! <laughs> I love how tired you guys all are. I appreciate you being here, you beautiful people. So, we will go round the uh, cast uh, in camera order uh, so we can introduce your characters. Uh, let's start off with Kiana. Hi, I was not expecting me to go first. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is for you guys. Uh, I rolled out of bed maybe 30 minutes ago and I am ready to play some D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, I am going to be playing a uh, tiefling warlock, uh, Karina Excellence, who is the twin of Kletos. Uh, and she is just about done with everything and kind of just ready to just kill something or someone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we have Katie. Katie Faze. Um, I've actually been awake since four o'clock this morning because I couldn't sleep. I am miserable, <laughs> but seeing your lovely faces and knowing the shenanigans that are about to happen and that we're going to maybe rescue Johnny from one of these. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It uh, makes me feel great. I'm playing a uh, spring blossom, the tabaxi knowledge cleric who isn't as innocent as she seemed to be. So that'll be fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, that seems the chip. Uh, so, uh, and next up we have Greg. Hey, everybody. I don't know where I am or who I am. <laughs> I'm Grimjack21502 on the Twitches and the Twitters. And today I will be playing the Tiefling uh something or other and his name is Kletos Excellence uh, Hexblade Hexblade everybody I'm a Hexblade today Kletos Excellence um he had a bit of a potential crisis last time as he was indoctrinated into the cult of Johnny Deep um he became like the high priest of said cult uh but I think maybe perhaps with the absence of Johnny and the presence of his sister who's very literally ready to kill him he might be swayed back into his normal waters. I don't know. It's really early. I could play somebody <laughs> completely different in 15 minutes. Brat. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 
next up, we have Ali with us again. Ali maybe might make a little bit more sense. Over in the UK, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So me and Ali, we're just fine. You know? No, we're not. Speak for yourself. I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't know where I am. Students. <laughs> I'm a graduate! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, hi guys, I'm Ali. I'll be playing uh, Eris, the, um, oh, Janassi Monk, <laughs> took me a sec. Um, Janassi Monk, um, who is sort of, has just a thirst for adventure and was highly entertained by last time's activities and was just diving right into the thick of it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where we go without the one that decides to throw us all into this trouble around yes because uh unfortunately johnny deep he went with that baby kraken and he's missing we haven't got a clue where he was his last words to the ends of the earth and back baby gone so today i'm not gonna be playing johnny deep today i am going to be playing first mate uh rum grumlin jeff and you know, I'm kind of looking forward to it today. It's going to be a good laugh. As long as there's room, everything's going to be just fine. We're going to go and find Johnny. They said they were going to go find Johnny. And everything will be fine. Lindy, our wonderful DM. Over to you. Yeah, so we got this crew of people. And they um, we're going to do like a brief, like, brief recap of what happened last time. Because it's been a few weeks. They were um, trying to join the Pirates of Paradise because they're like the best pirate gang ever. And they have a kick-ass island and stuff. And there's a really cool pirate queen. And she has a pet kraken named Mr. Squiggles. And uh, she said, oh, no, Tessa, you can't do that right now. Um, she, did, she also said that, um, <laughs> that you guys should hunt down Captain Picard of the, of the Chum Guzzler um, and bring back this glass chest filled with seawater for her. And you could keep whatever loot you find and the ship itself if you if you were successful in this endeavor. So you guys, you guys you went to this island, she dropped you off. You met some grumblins, you met some drowned maidens, you even met the enemy pirate crew, and Johnny convinced them all to join your guys' side. Somehow. And uh, then there was Captain Picard himself meditating on the bottom of the ocean floor. Uh, because he was apparently like an undead kraken priest or something. It happens. Uh, they fought him. Then things got worse. And an undead baby kraken appeared. And uh, it kind of kidnapped Johnny. Saying that he was very special. And uh, so now we kind of just briefly flash back to that moment. You guys searched the chum guzzler. Which as Johnny dove in to see the baby kraken just back flipped off the back of the off the crow's nest it like smeared the, the the ch on the chum guzzler to like an r so now it's the rum guzzler and you guys searched you did find a lot a good bit of gold several just chests worth full of gold jewels all sorts of trinkets and treasures and you found this mysterious glass chest it was basically pretty oval um almost crystalline in its last nature with a slight like gold rimming around it and designs and swirls and stuff it was very dark on the inside and you saw swirling kind of seawater and if anyone wanted to look at the chest further i would allow perception checks because i know mm -hmm. or investigation checks because i know Definitely. we wrapped up really quick at the end because i'm bad at yeah. basic so i'm gonna God. Ooh, hell yeah i'm down kalados is oh. distraught by the loss of johnny and <laughs> obviously <laughs> With an L. Obviously. Spring Blossom can't believe they got rid of Johnny. <laughs> All right. So Eris <laughs> is the only one to notice Ooh. that inside of this chest, there appears to be, you hear like, if you put your ear up against it, you can mm -hmm. hear what sounds like the beating of a heart. Oh, shit. That sounds fucking weird, guys. And I sort of like stand up and turn around. I'm like, sounds like there's like some sort of like beating heart thing in there. Weird. No wonder she didn't want no one to open it, you know? I mean, is it... It could be her heart, right? I mean... Oh, shit. Oh, she God. seemed like she had a heart. Did she, though? Well, uh, I mean, she wanted it, so we... Uh, take we should bring it back, yes. 
Yeah. Now, hold on a minute. Hold on. Oh, sorry, Wait, who Jeff? are you? Uh, 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 Jeff, I've been here the whole time. Come on. Uh, you right there, Jeff? Look, uh, I thought we all said that we were going to go find Johnny. Well, I mean, yeah, we we can find him after we drop this off to the, you know, notorious pirate queen. Right? No, no, I have to agree with Jeff. I believe you said that we were going to go find Johnny. I think that that's, that's our next logical course of action is to find Johnny. He I, accepted I think... all of us when no one else would. Well, right. Well, uh, what, what does everyone else think? Uh, Karina? Can you? I... I'm sp spring. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we should probably be square with the pirate queen who could kill us. Yeah. I am of a mind to agree with the spring blossom here. Of course, it is uh, important, and she says this like with the biggest eye roll, to find Johnny. However, it is important. also important that we do not get ourselves killed by the biggest pirate on the high seas. Ah, uh, I understand. Yeah. I, un I understand. Because like, all she wants is the chest, yeah? So it's just a matter of sailing up to her with this boat, throwing the chest at her, and then off we go find Johnny. But we yeah. all do really support Johnny as the new pirate king now, don't we? He, I mean... Uh... I, I get it, I get it. You're scared. You've lost Johnny. You haven't what? got anyone to try and take out her Kraken for you, like Johnny what? took out this one. I mean, I get it. What? Eris <laughs> just sort of stands there, just stares at this girl. And she's like, "I, all right, well, uh, okay." Kletos <laughs> is just rubbing his head as if coming out of some type of like <laughs> fever dream, <laughs> and. As I, as the distance between he and Johnny and Johnny's wielding of the literal <laughs> cosmic narrative seems to have dispersed a bit, uh, Kletos is beginning to return to his senses. Um, you know, the, the, the acid's starting to wear off a bit, I guess. And Kletos just shakes his head and moves back over to shoulder up with his sister and he does not meet her gaze. He knows <laughs> that this is going to be a long time in repairing, and he is not in, it's, he's like a bit Johnny hungover right now. So he's just going to stand there and stare and nod whenever she does. <laughs> he cannot disagree on any points for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you see you see Alba, her, her little pseudo dragon familiar, kind of like look at him and like basically gives him like the stink eye. <laughs> I, I think that that the, the pirate queen said that we would we would get a ship and we would get any riches that we liked and perhaps we should just follow up on that first before before just jumping quickly into finding Johnny without a plan. We really should have a plan. Perhaps the Pirate Queen would know where Johnny has gone. I mean, it doesn't seem to me like we've had a plan up to this point and everything seemed to work out fine. Uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't have talk Johnny, about though. <laughs> <laughs> it's there for Johnny. We, we, we were dealing with otherworldly forces beyond our control with all of the events leading up to this. And now that we've lost that kind of anchor to the ethereal... We're rudderless. Plane, I we don't... rudder. <laughs> Yeah, now that we've lost our rudder to the uh, ethereal plane of imagination and craziness, I, I think, yeah, let's uh, let's go back to square one and try and speak with the Pirate Queen, yeah? thing everybody heard. Was it about Ali getting fluffed? This! Yes! <laughs> 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 I'm being yelled at in Zoom now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> okay, uh, so sorry about that. Uh, we should be right back into it. It looks green at the minute, but it's probably gonna drop half again in the next couple of minutes. I've dropped the bit rate down, so even if the video freezes for a little bit, the audio should be fine. All right, good to know. I think basically we were like, oh no, what do we do without Johnny? 
We have no guidance in our lives. All hope is lost. Wait, maybe the pirate queen knows something. That's a great idea. Let's go find out. That's that's a brief summary of what I think happened while the yeah. uh, down. I was the left hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Karina and Spring Blossom are just like, mm, okay. <laughs> the, uh, while you guys were discussing this, all of the um, former members of Captain Picard's crew Uh-oh. have been preparing the, the, the rum guzzler to, uh, set, to set sail and be seaworthy. Um, they've been, you know, you know, getting all the sail stuff right and boat stuff to get boats ready to go out. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> you guys are on. They tell you, they inform you. Um, yeah, whoever is uh, second mate, well, have the ship's ready whenever y'all are. And all the gremlins are just like immediately rolling their barrels onto the ship and just per- starting to permeate the ship with their, um, the aura of drunkenness already. The drowned babies are kind of just like, oh, a boat. <laughs> <laughs> but they're still, yeah. The drowned maidens are still with us. They're not. They are still with you. Okay. Yes, so, they're kind of crazy. Yeah. Because Johnny said he'd get us a boat and he'd get us off this island. And here we are right now on a boat getting off the island, even though he's not here. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's right, Chef. I just like hug you. <laughs> and they go off. How? how uh, Spring Bl- Blossom goes over to Karina and she's like, "He's not even here, and he's still ruining the day." <laughs> uh, thank you very much uh, to Jeanette who uh, pledged two pounds via Patreon. Thank you. Yay! I'm not, I've hit my first goal! Ah! Um, oh. I will sort that out after streams. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the happy man. I am All a right. happy man. Look the happy man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Uh, Kuna says, I feel like we may have underestimated how awful his influence is. I, I, I'm just in shock at this point. We're never gonna escape. What if he's a god? <gasps> what if this whole time, you know, we, we've just been hanging around with some sort of like omnipotent, otherworldly it's presence? The most terrifying thought I've ever heard. I mean, that. That. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. We've got gremlins. We've got maiden people, floaty things over there. What, we've got a mini kraken, haven't we? What's a god? That's just next up on the rudder, isn't it? I'm telling you, it's because Johnny understood what meant deep down to all of us, you know? All of us monsters. He knew that all we really wanted was to be accepted and loved by everyone. He knew. Anyone know how to steer the boat off uh, just uh, by, by chance? I'll have a go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we we need to get out of here very quickly. I'm I'm I I'm I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> so Jeff the Grumlin, who's probably never been on a boat before, is gonna have a go at steering. I love this. Oh god. This is great. Oh. <laughs> Eris goes and finds like a, a piece of rope just on the mast and just <laughs> Casually wraps her wrist with it and just sort of leans against the mast, just just waiting, just ready. Uh, uh, Kleidos will walk up to her as she sees her doing that and unwrap it. (gasps) He'll say, I don't think you want to be tied to something that's being driven by a rumlin or whatever these things call themselves. I mean, it could very easily end up at the bottom of the ocean. uh, Oh, that's a good point. I can breathe. I mean, I don't need to breathe, do I? <laughs> I'd slap him on the arm. <gasps> You're such a clever lad. Thanks, Kleos. I feel sorry for you, though. If we go under, can you swim? <laughs> yes, I can swim. I used to be able to swim. I'm sure I can still swim. 
Oh. I think. Oh, you'd be all right. We'll, we'll throw you know, a bit of driftwood barrel, maybe, uh, if we go under. You'll be all right. I'm going to go contemplate this somewhere else. He just oh. kind of stumbles off. Oh, God. I was like, oh, well. For figuring out how a ship works, <laughs> would that yeah. be insight, investigation? <laughs> um, divine blessing? <laughs> divine blessing. <laughs> Religion. What, what class is <laughs> is Jeff, by the way? Just out of curiosity. I'm a monk. Are you a drunken monk? Oh my god! Of course I am. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Awesome! I love this. Holy shit! <laughs> worst monks in the world. Oh god! Yeah, you know, um. It could be a wisdom or an intelligence. We could do like an investigation and see if you can kind of try to figure out how this all goes down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for insight on my wisdom. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have a negative three. <laughs> Did you not see my stat roll earlier? I'll no. scroll up so you guys can see it. I got. Oh a 10, a 4, oh an 8, God. a 13, a 9, and a 14. This oh is a great, this is a great God. game already. So already. I, I dumped it. wisdom and intelligence. I love it. <laughs> oh Alright. So, We're gonna die. we'll say ah. you're, you're a bit too short to steer it by yourself. So another grumbling comes up, he's like, I'm gonna help! Oh and no. Like, I help! Puts you on the shoulders. I got it, I got it, I got it. You, you stand on that side, and I'll stand on this side, and we'll just climb the wheel, and I guess turning this thing round makes the ship go forwards. No! That makes sense! Oh, that does sorry. make sense. I mean, we, we've yeah, got actual... Yeah, it definitely makes sense! <laughs> and and Eris just kind of points at the small army of pirates that I, we have on this <laughs> ship, I mean, and just goes, um... You know, we've got like a bunch of those guys over here. Fairly sure one of them can drive a ship. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. Not half of us know how to drive a ship. But so... the goblins have already begun <laughs> the wheel rolling. So oh, I'm dear. gonna I'm gonna require a D one hundred from <laughs> Jeff. Oh, just to see how far the luck of Johnny extends. Oh, like does it extend to his god? Can you from imagine? everyone, did you say? Just, just from, just from Jeff, because he's the one. Well, what's, what's considered good for a D100? The higher, the better, or? Cthulhu, yeah. Cthulhu rules. Low is good. So, High is bad. Low is good. Okay, so I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a hundred. That's not, you know, something right. worse. All right. Let's let's see here. Let's see how how the fates feel about this. You know how you know how when you a cat is scared and like. They're, they're like hackles are standing up. That's literally yeah. Blossom right now. Like her fur is like standing up. Yeah, she's just <laughs> like close to the teeth link and just like, oh my god, terrified right now. So the anchor has been pulled up, and the boat kind of goes, mm, kind of like careens out, kind of like this, misses the edge, the whole entire like edge of the cave entrance exit by inches. Almost as if the DC I rolled was a 35. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, oh, the ship kind of wobbly, wibbly, wobbly sails out. Um, and you guys are free from Skull Island. You see um, the pirate queen's ship in the distance along with a writhing mass of tentacles. Just kind of chilling next to it. It's not like angry right things. We're like, la da do do. Like, like a chill cracking. Just chilling out there. And you guys kind of willy nilly <laughs> steer in that direction. So I imagine we're going until it stops and going, oh no, it's going to stop. Go to the left wheel. Go to the left wheel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Kratos will misty step up to the wheel. And as it's spinning, he'll just stop and grab it. Wow. Well and he just steps forward and takes the wheel in the middle and aims it towards the 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 kraken that looks like it's advertising a used car lot as it <laughs> <laughs> used boats here 
Oh, uh, Eris will like get the the glass chest and just kind of hold it above her head and just wave mm-hmm. it at the at the, at the yeah, and go, it's, it's, about, it's about two and a half feet by like you know a foot, so it's it's actually yeah. you, know, you can hold that fairly easy. Just wave it. Oi, we got your thing. That's definitely not possibly a beaten organ. We don't know for sure. All right, you guys pull up and you see the pirate queen sitting cross-legged in, in a nice chair on the deck with a cup of tea, a little table with a big teapot, and a, a giant tentacle holding a rather large cup of tea. It appears that it's, they're having a tea party. <gasps> oh my god. And you pull up and she's like, ah, yes, seems you all were successful. Congratulations. I, I see you've already renamed the ship. The rum guzzler it is. Well, which I think is that tea. Is that ginger tea? Because I'm feeling a little sick on my stomach. Someone let a a goblin steer the ship and I think I'm going to vomit. I'll have you know it very well. Yeah, the politically correct term is rumlin, I believe. Or something. Grumlin? I don't know. See, you don't even know. You don't even know, Kleidos. I'm closer to it. I'm trying. I'm sure that they appreciate that. Can I just have some tea? Yes, yeah, so a, a pirate, like a cabin boy, comes over with like a, a tray full of teacups, and it does appear to be a ginger, a ginger tea. Oh, thank goodness! Yeah, she just like slowly sips it, and just like sits down on the ground, like chair, just sits down, and it's just like curls into herself, she's trying to calm down. <laughs> All right, and um, two guys come over with like a large. Um, like pillow, and they gesture for Eris to put the chest onto it. Yeah, I just, I just sort of go and set it down, and sort of put my hands on my hips, and yeah, there you go, one chest. Excellent, thank you very much. I assume there is um, plenty of treasure aboard. You all seem to be seaworthy, and none the worse for wear, surprisingly. Uh... And I still see the old crew. Is Captain Picard dead? And I sort of turn my head around to the others and go, is he actually dead? I can't actually remember. Did we get it? (laughs) (laughs) And uh, Kuna kind of spins her blade a bit up in the air. There's a little bit of a flaunt to it. She says, oh, I would know. I took his head off myself. Ah, He is very much dead. Excellent. Uh, Thank you very much to Earthen Lady for the subscription. He gives his nap one to Greg. Oh, the joy in that man's face. <laughs> That's not joy. He doesn't know where he is anymore. <laughs> I'm having a great time playing Blades in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, if you all would like, we can go back to paradise. And there's um, plenty for you to explore and discover there, I'm sure. As it, I believe it'll be all yours first time. Uh, well, actually, I, I think I'd sort of like look at the the gremlins and the maidens and the pirates and everyone else and kind of sort of go. I, I think, Eris, good Eris, let's just wait till we get back just to the island. But, Eris, but, but you should but, have some tea. Eris's tea is so. Who's who's this? Oh, uh, nice to be aboard your ship, but who are we talking to? Uh-oh. I'm Scarlet Sixuko, Queen of the Twelve Seas. Queen of the oh, no. Seas? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Kleidos <laughs> moves over <laughs> to the, and he looks and just kind of wow. <laughs> stands oh, in God. front of him because there's no way to convey <laughs> subtly to <laughs> Ilk that, and he just looks and kind of gives him the knowing nod that, uh, like, just go with it for right now. Just go with it. She's believes herself to be queen. It's fine. <laughs> Isn't that that's that's Kratos, you know that's that's heresy. That's heresy. Eris is doing the sort of like <laughs> slicing across her neck hand motion to the, to Jeff just sort of See <laughs> see we should yeah. kill her. That's what yeah. she's telling us. Put <laughs> <laughs> her head down in like in her teacup like hiding as much as she can. Uh, oh. This this could be relevant. <laughs> Thank you, Earthen Lady, for donating fifteen pounds. E- stuff gets worse for the party, and everyone but Greg gets a nat one. DM gets a nat twenty. God damn it! 
Oh, okay. We have done nothing wrong ever. Ever. <laughs> Eris kind of like spins around and goes to Puck and like, right, uh, we're just going to ignore what's going on behind us. Uh, and actually, yeah, Paradise would be <gasps> amazing. Let's talk about what, what's that thing you've got? Uh, tea? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Why, why don't we yeah. talk about Johnny? Let's just not talk about who, who is that. Oh, yes. Didn't you have another with you? No. Yeah, the new pirate king. <laughs> Eris looks in the sea, knowing that she doesn't need to hold her breath, and kind of contemplates just going for it. <laughs> as, as, the, as you look over, a, like, a tentacle yeah. that's like larger round than the mast that's on your ship just kind of like lazily floats in the water i could end it right now (laughs) (laughs) Uh, kuna steps forward in front of this nonsense (laughs) says my apologies uh queen of the seven seas um we have taken on some new crew, and they don't quite understand the etiquette of how things are supposed to go on ships. Particularly, we have some grumblings. <coughs> and, <laughs> and as you know, they are always intoxicated in some form. Yeah, you actually see, like, the cabin boy who brought you the tea over is now like... <laughs> just, <laughs> failed his con save miserably. <laughs> oh, God. and uh, they don't even feel sorry about it, your your Majesty. It's just horrible. It's horrible. So please excuse whatever comes out of their mouths. Uh, they are not thinking straight. Earthen donates again. Air is running. Cowardice. Five net ones for her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where do you? Right. That's it. I'm booking a flight. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> As, hey, as, the un- as the unlock descends on Eris, it's <laughs> almost as if Cletus can. Not here. <laughs> it's almost as if Cletus can feel it, but with that cosmic, otherworldly bending of luck, he just looks into the the ocean spray and says, "Johnny, <laughs> <laughs> where are you, Johnny?" <laughs> <laughs> Jeff will just walk up and put a comforting hand. Well, he's aiming for the back, but it's probably going to be more like the back of the thigh arse area. Like, yeah. <laughs> he'll be back. He'll be back, Clevis. Johnny, Clevis can you hear out. me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Jeanette Brig, uh, donates 200 bits to give uh, Katie a nat 20. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right. And Karina, still putting on the charm, uh, it says, um, if you would, um, I would have these gremlins stay on the new ship here, and we can follow you wherever you would like us to go. Make me a persuasion check, and I want Cletus to roll me a d100. Um, well, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to even it. You don't need it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so you you're like I just excuse they're just they're grumbling they don't know manners it's fine and she's like she kind of gives like a like a like a very discerning eye over each and every person she can see on the on the the ship and she goes well all right to paradise then and she kind of just turns on her heel and goes back to her tea party with her Kraken. The ships pull up anchor, and you all, you're not quite towed, but you are escorted to paradise. When you pass through the thick, dense ring of fog and clouds that kill many ships that aren't welcome in paradise, and get many other travelers lost, you come out on the other side, and there is a small island chain waterfalls and rainbows and ships just docked everywhere you see all sorts of types of people booze and rum is flowing a plenty there is um there's like a little sign that says cephalopod sanctuary and it's got like it's like little like cordoned off 
area. Um, and you see a bunch of like happy little octopi and like nautiluses just kind of frolicking in the water um, as you guys sail into the main island of paradise where there is a large kind of fortress on the top of this cliff edge with a waterfall that just pours right out of it into the main protected sort of inlet of bay. Um, you guys pull in, her ship sails on past towards the big dock by the castle. And you see just rows of taverns and lodging and people being eat, drinking, and being merry. What would you all like to do? Blossom looks over at Kleidos and is like, you know, for what it's worth, Johnny would like this. Nah, there's not enough room. <sighs> yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd like to think that if it, it, with the cephalopod sanctuary, does does the kraken go into it? Like, like the kraken, the kraken like goes by and gives it a big hug, and you see a little 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 little, little cephalopods hugging it back, and then it goes and it follows uh, Scarlet's ship. I, I know. I almost think that it would be like a cheers moment, like when they see that it's like, oh, it's Mister Sc and it comes in and there's party. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> He's back. This is the cutest fucking shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this point, Kletos is going to take the initiative, and as soon as they dock, he is going to go over to the Pirate Queen. I assume she's coming in as well, right? She, she is. She is. Um, and he is going to say to her, Your Majesty, when we lost Johnny, we was taken from us by a kraken similar to the one that you possess. Do you know of any way that we could follow them or retrieve him? Interesting. You say not the kraken like Mr. Squiggles. And this one was undead, I believe. <laughs> I just picture Crane in the background like <laughs> and it's like It was a kraken. Johnny fought it and it was taken away. I mean he didn't diminished. really fight it. Kratos. Listen to none of them. They were he is a noble he hero. He's noble gave here. Himself to it. I never thought I'd say this, but listen to the grumlin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kind of um when you say there was another crack in it, and especially when you say it was undead, she kind of gets looks a little concerned. She says Go to the go to the CEO's hut. She might have more information, and she kind of pulls out of her uh, her pirate jacket um, what looks like a like a tarot card of some type. This will get you right in. Uh, so there's this been another donation. Yeah. Light fingery donates another five pounds. Lindy, make things worse for the party. They have too many gnats. Do your worst. What's your favorite? Okay. Too many. Too, too many gnats. Oh, too many gnats. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All Very right. Much. Oh. I, I like. S I opted yeah. the difficulty of what's to come, and now I'm just gonna. Now this this is gonna be interesting with this. Okay, okay, Lindy. I can just make this easy on you. Just TPK us right now. <laughs> just, easy. Yeah. Eris. <laughs> Eris just jumps off into the ocean. Done. <laughs> Boom. See you next okay. week. Roll credits. <laughs> That's great. No. All right. She, she hands you a tarot card. Um, the tarot card is the tower. Okay. Cletus will take it, not think too much of it. Greg takes the card and thinks to himself, for the love of God, please let this be Calypso, because this will be the coolest thing <laughs> in the history of ever. <laughs> so, so, yeah, Cletus will take it and kind of stick it in his hat, uh, his bandana, uh, as he moves towards the direction that she indicated as mm -hmm. the seer's hut. And he gives a slight bow of respect to the pirate queen before he leaves. She'll give you a nod uh, and keep walking, like holding, like her hand holding one of Mr. Squiggle's tentacles as they just walk up to the Oh. Um, He's going to be trouble. Kledos, Kledos, <laughs> I tell you what, you go, and, you go and find out where Johnny is. I'll take care of the queen. <laughs> oh, God. It was nice knowing you. All right. Leave the rum. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so, Kleidos, you're going, you, you see what the hut she indicated. It appears to be, like, you see, uh, there's a bunch of oh, dogs. he's gonna get and... everybody else. He's not going by himself. Oh, I'm this just letting you know what you, what you see, what everyone else <laughs> okay. will see at the Sears hut. Um, 
it's it's kind of like an inlet on one of the shores there appears to be like a ramshackle hut that's like half submerged in water you wouldn't think anybody lives there it's pretty i mean it's it's halfway filled up with water um it's kind it's of falling apart a little bit say. yeah it's really shitty looking um but that's what she indicated but there appears to be like some flickering light from coming from inside um, he looks at his sister. This isn't at all creepy, but. Um. <laughs> well, brother dear, seems like we should go investigate. WWJD. And he walks in towards the door. Oh, Johnny, too. <laughs> yeah. Bl Blossom just looks at Karina and is like. <sighs> she, she, like she like, she rolls her eyes and jabs like a brother in the with her elbow. Stop it. You're, you're letting this happen. No, don't. I mean, I'm not going to question it. Um, I'm trying really hard not to question it. And she, she I can just hear kinda... whispers too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Karina kind of puts up, a, puts up a hand. But kind of like with a no way look <laughs> oh, oh all right yeah let's let's uh, yeah mm, all right and, and i think like she looks over at Eris, and uh you you, you speak primordial don't you Eris? Uh, mm -hmm. if you're a genasi you speak primordial yeah, yeah. She, yep, just yep, yep. Goes, she just goes i think that the tieflings are getting out of control in the uh, primordial uh, and, and Eris just kind of looks at her and gives a kind of what the heck do you want me to do kind of look and shrug and she goes and is primordial she kind of says well I mean we've got no Johnny tieflings are running a mock gremlins are plotting to kill queen it's, it's a little bit tits up isn't it and common blossom just goes oh uh, we're gonna die and she just follows after <laughs> Eris just kind of remembers the divine curse placed upon her only mere moments ago and just <laughs> sort of, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, let's to be it. And she, so she, yeah, she just continues to follow everybody else. Okay. What, what uh, everybody doesn't realize is, is that Kledos and Karina, when they were in school, the band name that they had was, in fact, Tieflings Running Amok. Uh, it's kind of a twist back <laughs> to prior days. They could have been somebody. We signed a contract and we got got taken advantage. We were too young, really, is what it, what it was. We were just sure, sure, young. sure. Raven That's probably Queen. how we she ended up getting. She doesn't do those contracts. She just doesn't That's hold. how you got a patron. You're like, yeah, oh, it's probably how we got a patron. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. You, you thought what? it was for fame and fortune. Really, it's to serve. Happens. You gotta read the fine print. Um, what is y'all's patron, by the way? Out of curiosity. Uh, the Raven Queen. Oh, yeah. the Raven Queen? Cool. One and only. I'll keep that in mind. All right. So, um, I mean, it's a unicorn. <laughs> it's a <laughs> very comforting <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> By mistake. So do you all head over to the, to the Sears hut? Yeah. OK. Sure. You guys head over. Um, you walk, you get like shore side, you walk around and um, there doesn't appear to be a door, but just a bunch of beads hanging, hanging down in front, made of like different types of seashells and colored beads, seaweed. Kledos enters Gary Oldman style by putting the hands like this and parting them and kind of spreading them as he comes through. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Gary Oldman style. All um, right. Yeah, Eris is actually just going to sort of stand outside the hut, just kind of lean against it and just observe whilst kind of keeping an ear to what's okay going on sure sure all right so you you lean up you're leaning up against this hut um does everybody else enter or is everyone is uh, uh going blossoms in? going in for okay. sure okay so you two you three enter the hut and eris is leaning up against it outside um and inside you see again water's up to your knees um if any of you are shorter it's about mid thigh and you see what appears to be a triton lady she's a bit she's quite old and her hair is in like 
twisted up into dreadlocks woven with seaweed. Um, and she is kind of holding a conch shell and just listening to it. Her eyes snap open as you enter the hut. She's like, how can I help you? Why have you come? You are looking for someone. Kratos pulls the tarot card from his bandana and to... flips, it, flips it tower side as he hands it to her. She snatches it, looks at it. You see her eyes kind of glaze over white and she makes some rolls. She says, tell me the name of the person you are looking for. Johnny Deep. You say you say the name, and she goes. And uh, while I know, on, right? I know. That's as, what I've been trying to say. <laughs> as you say that, Eris, you're outside. I you know, like leaning against this ramshackle hut. You gotta hear sure. some some music being played at dockside. You're kind of tapping your foot a yeah, little yeah. bit, a little bit to it. You're like, yeah, 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 digging it. You're digging it. Um. Unfortunately, you underestimated how stable this this shut is, <gasps> and I'm gonna need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. I oh, hate that one. That once. Um, and what the whole hut goes <gasps> and just collapses over on everyone inside. Harris <laughs> just kind of pauses for a moment, looks at the damage, and kind of goes, "I knew I shouldn't have eaten that last breadstick." God. <laughs> <laughs> I need everyone inside the hut to make me dexterity. Oh, I just I killed me? everyone! Can I, <laughs> can I burn my nat one, Lindy? No. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, I'm going to roll until you tell us not to. Yeah, so I, I mean... Uh, did you say saving throw? Yeah, dexterity saving throw. It's okay, fine. Karina wants to try to protect the seer. Okay, okay, yeah. Um... Oh, Plagios does not, and he rolled a 22. I, okay. Yeah, that's a nine, so that makes sense. <laughs> okay, you're Stop like, trying. protect you the seer, and instead you wind up, like, tackling her right to where one of the beams is. God fucking. <laughs> falling down. I've killed the seer. Things have gotten worse, guys. I, they, they <laughs> sure have. They sure have. Yep. Lindy. <laughs> well, yeah, well, as Kledos, like, pulls off the reeds and the, the, the I mean... We can't be, did you see how this thing was built? We can't be expected to be blamed for this. It was coming down any day. Eris I mean, just, hell, those beads were probably the things holding it up. Eris like looks oh, yeah. at her hands and is like, oh, bloody hell, I've killed like, is the seer dead? Is, oh God, is she dead or is she unconscious? Is she dying? What, what is she? Is she all right? She did not want her saving throw. Oh my God, she's dead. <laughs> She definitely appears unconscious. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to her. Can I, um, can I roll a medicine check on her? Sure. <laughs> yeah, basically, oh. you just see like Karina just like roll over. She's like, um, you stabilize her. You think she's got a pretty severe concussion, and she's probably not gonna come to for a few days. You should probably, yeah, we should probably get her leave. somewhere else, or at least out or of that. water. You know out of the <laughs> or you, you know you could leave it's up to you all I feel oh, she's not my seer <laughs> Hello, I um, feel like we should leave a good impression on this island uh, and not just kill the local seer I didn't I mean, mean to yeah I mean I'm not the one that shoved her into a beam uh, <gasps> Oh, um, well, sis you got sister point. sweet uh we just knocked down the seer's hut it's not something that we can i mean we're going to perform some carpentry and <laughs> um Kalatos looks around and see if he can sees if he can find that shell that she was listening to yeah make me uh an investigation check i mean it, it is kind of rubble now right right uh so. i have a nat 20 do i know no yes oh, no um, nat 20? katie has a nat 20 i have a nat 20 you don't. I'll just, uh, no, I will. Oh, am I, is, you, say, you said perception, right? You said acrobatic. Sure. Okay. Perception, perception or investigation. Perception would work. 19. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you see, you see the shell kind of like it's, it looks like the tide's kind of trying to pull it out, but you, you grab it real quick and you, you have the big conch shell she was listening to. I would never do this. 
Kratos listens to it. <laughs> oh, no. Johnny? Hello, it's me. <laughs> Adele. Who am I speaking to? I was thinking more like Lionel Richie, but you know. Hello. <laughs> it's Johnny singing hello to the <laughs> 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 Plato's Excellence. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Archibald. Archibald? Yes. It's a wonderful name. I'm looking Thank for my you. friend Johnny, Johnny Deep. Do you happen to know where he is? Last seen in the company of an undead kraken. Oh, an undead kraken. That sounds right awful. Well, um, I'm afraid I don't actually know where he is, but I do know of someone who would know. There's this lovely seer lady who normally talks to me. Let's say that the seer is unavailable. Who would be the next best person to ask? And would it be conveniently located in <laughs> Paradise Cove? Oh, you're in Paradise Cove. Lovely this time of year. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I suppose if the seer is unavailable or indisposed, you can always speak to the, um, to the, uh, the siren. The siren, yes. you say? Yes. She's rather older, though. Don't, don't tell her that. She doesn't, she likes, uh, she prefers flattery. She hates being insulted. Past her prime, you say? Yeah, we're in a bit. I mean, she's been doing it for a thousand years. Yeah, it's, you know, she's had a good run then, I guess. Yes. Um, yes. Where I would mean, I find this siren? She's just like northeast of the Paradise Isles. She has, she has her, own little, um, her own little island. Oh, she's separate, so we have to get in the sea again. And normally that would be fine, but we have these things that we're trying to steer the ship. We can work around it. Um, yeah, she, she knows it just about as much as the seer does, but she's a little bit more tricky to work with. I'm sure she is. I'm sure we can thank chat for all of this too, as we <laughs> would have easily talked to the old seer, but now we have to go to a <laughs> fucking island that is being run by a thousand year old siren. So. <laughs> yeah, so she, used to, she used to have a voice of pure seer, okay, now it's a bit more of a screech, a bit of a wail, if you will. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite the terrible singer myself. Have you ever you heard of oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, right. <laughs> I mean, um, is there any other numbers on this shell or is it directly to you, Archibald? Oh, it's just to me. Are you in the shell? Are you somewhere else? Are you? No, no, my, my soul is trapped here. Oh, shit, that's terrible. Oh, so um, you get used to it. <laughs> I used to be a tour guide. I'm great with directions. I'm going to keep you with me. Is that okay? I mean, if the seer's indisposed, I, I, I would be good to get out every now and then. <laughs> the seer's in no position to say otherwise, so we're going to assume that it's okay if I take you. Um, Jolly good. God. So, yeah, so he, he, he takes the shell, looks at it, and just puts it in his pocket. <laughs> so right. He can talk to Archibald when he needs to. All right. So, yeah, Later, you really, you're really going through some things, aren't you, friend? It's nice to have friends, I think. <laughs> and as he says that, we cut back to Jeff. Jeff! <laughs> Jeff! You, you were off to, to, to go off the Pirate Queen? <laughs> Is that what I heard? Oh, God. <laughs> Jeff? Rum guzzler to Jeff. Scrat. <laughs> Scrat. Oi! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How's it then? Yeah, I'm, a, yeah, I'm Jeff. Okay. <laughs> he just got a little too drunk. <laughs> These guys are more awake than you. What is this? All right. I believe Jeff was off to off the pirate queen. Yes. Yes. All yes. right. So how how are you going about this, Jeff? Uh, he is sneaking behind her. <laughs> Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> it's the hiccups that give you away. You, I imagine she looks behind you and you just kind of like freeze, but you're actually still swaying. <laughs> and she kind of like shakes her head and keeps walking. Wow. How does and then uh, eventually she's going to sit down and be like, 
Drumlin, did you did you have something you needed? What would Johnny do? <laughs> I feel I should warn you. There's All right. There's going to be a new pirate king coming one way or another. And, and you either got to get on board with him, or you're just going to be blown away by the storm. I will keep that in mind. Is there Can anything else you had to say? Well, I, I, I'm actually representing him right now. So oh. it would be great if I could have, like, I don't know, some sort of confirmation that you'll step down when he returns. Because, you know, he's going to be a big deal. Well, she's going to kind of, like, lean, like, kneel down to get eye level with this weighing drunk gremlin. I prefer to make my judgment of character based in person rather than just based off the word. Although you do seem to be quite the admirable gremlin. I think both the most courageous or stupid gremlin I've ever seen, actually. But I do make my judgments of character in person. So I, I assume we'll just have to wait for this new king to get back. Okay. <laughs> well, this has gone rather well. I thought there'd be combat or something. I thought you'd be all <laughs> mad and you'd, you'd try and fight me. Oh. I get threatened with new rulership every other day. It's just gets old. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll admit, I came in thinking I was gonna like stab you or something, but then I thought, nah, what would Johnny do? He 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 preaches love and acceptance, you know. He he converted so many monsters to his cause. It's incredible, oh, really. Are you talking about Johnny Deep? I've heard an awful lot about him in the past like half hour. You know what I am talking about him. I tell you, why don't we go and get a drink and talk all about him? Roll me persuasion check. <laughs> oh my God. Why not? You're a grumbling. You, 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 you make alcohol. You know alcohol. Sure, I can go for a drink. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be some good room somewhere in this place. We left all ours on the boat. Let's, let's go and find a bar. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. Let's, sure, why not? We'll get a barrel for Mr. Squiggles. All right. Um. So you guys head to a bar. And, uh, <laughs> you've got Jeff and Scarlet kind of sitting down. It's like one of those, like, swim up bars, but you are on the other side. Mr. Squiggles is just, like, got a barrel and two tentacles, and he's just, like, making, like, sipping from them. And you all have, it's, it's very good quality aged rum. Apparently they only bring up the best for the, for the pirate queen. Um, and gremlins like yourself, since you are very discerning in alcohol taste. I'll mostly just drink it anyway, but it's going to be a bit weak. Hang on, let me just dip my finger in it for a second. <laughs> you alright? You, you uh, also, that? also, Earth and Lady donates again. Everyone but Ali gets a nat one. <gasps> Thank uh, God! Uh, two advantages for Ali. Yay! Wait, that gives me five nat ones and two And the DM also gets two advantages. I think that's... Excellent. I think that's everyone. Basically, Lindy is not going to fail this time. <laughs> I, I, I just got, like, launching into full... You know, he came to us when we were just alone on an island, getting drunk with no purpose whatsoever, and he just came along and he accepted us as people, promised us more rum, which is always a winner, and then took us on on a magnificent journey to get the boat that you see over there. That is quite the story. Um, she did pass her, her aura of drunkenness save, but Mr. Squiggles did not. So <laughs> there's like this cracking, just kind of like, woo, like the already wavy tentacles are kind of just, they're a bit more clumsy. They like knock a ship over accidentally. I rolled though and it's not y'all's ship. Oh, um, Christ. <laughs> and she's like, oh, acceptable courses, it's fine. We needed a new one anyway. Um, well, that's very good. You know, we actually have quite a few grumlins here. They um, they have that bar over there. And you see there's like a bar that's on fire. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a typical grumlin bar. 
Why aren't we drinking over there? That'll have some great rum in there. It'll be really strong. But Mr. Squiggles can't quite get over to that one as easily. Oh. Uh. He's like a son to me. I, I, I think I know how you feel. <laughs> She's kind of just like, you're all right, Jeff. You're all right. <laughs> and as we get there, we cut back to the other group. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. <laughs> I'm kicking back. We've got Archibald the conch shell. Um, you guys um, back to your boat. <laughs> Blossom has pulled, uh, or do I need to roll to pull this lady out? No, no, you guys, you guys knocked her under. You can pull her. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure, like, I don't really want to help much. Just want to make sure that, like, she's not gonna drown. Well, she is a Triton, so you think she can. Oh, okay. Well, then, then. But you, you get her up on her short enough that she doesn't get sucked Leave out to the middle of nowhere in the sea. Yeah, I don't, I don't want her to, like, die drift. Or anything. Yeah, you don't want her to drift. So you gotta just put yeah. her up on the beach. Aris yeah, yeah, yeah. Eris has just sort of stood there, kind of s kicking the water a little bit with her foot, just sort of going, I'm never standing near a wall again. Never. It's probably a good idea, Eris. Yeah. Um, Fuck walls! Who needs them anyway? I'm not standing here with us as I live. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck, fuck the walls. Hermits. Uh, wilderness folk. Um, prepare yeah. for a life as a plains barbarian. I don't know. What? Very yeah. good ideas. Yes, yes. Um, so where to next? Uh, my if we're going to do Archibald. this idea to get Johnny. My friend Archibald said that there is a smaller island northeast of here that is uh, home Ooh. to a thousand-year-old siren. She should be oh. able to direct us towards Johnny. However, she is apparently past her prime and in need of some praise, so. So you're ready for that, Kletos? Am I ready for what? Oh, praise and an Eris like, an Eris like uh, nudges a uh, spring in the in the side a little bit and gives her a wink, goes, oh, Kletos, bet you're gonna be a uh, proper uh, praising of her, aren't you? Turn on that charm. Yeah, you're you're gonna you're gonna praise her, right? Yeah, he's gonna praise her real good. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not sure exactly what society you all come from, but I'm here to tell you that this siren could very easily need praising from the lot of you. So let's not jump to conclusions about who should be issuing said praise. I'm sure she will dictate. We're gonna lead. We're gonna lead with you, though. Yeah, I think we'll we'll put you first. Look we'll at lead you. with you. Yeah, look at that yeah. smile. And she I points at Johnny's his non-smiling face. <laughs> look at that smile. She points at his non-smiling face. <laughs> look at look at that. Group. I mean, you did talk about your uh your your third leg back in oh, the cave yeah. when we were all drunk. <laughs> you, you you were drunk. So you said that I, to I me. just feel like, yeah, I feel like you should lead with the charming. Mm. Karina's losing her shit in the background, <laughs> like trying not to laugh. But uh -huh. she's just like, oh yeah, she's doing that like. Kratos, you told me all about your third leg. Oh, time to put it to the test, eh, buddy boy? Well, I mean, if we're being crass now and not being <laughs> drunks, I mean, the the trick is to keep the tip covered. But anyway, <laughs> let's go on and. <laughs> oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Archibald, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald! Yes, that, that is the trick I have heard. He, he agrees. I gave all sorts of tours in my tour guide days. <laughs> 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 Brother dear, you have resorted to talking with a shell now. You talk to a dragon that perches on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, pot, it's his kettle. Choose your next words wisely. Oh my god. You two had, must have had a great relationship growing up. Mm. We were best yeah. of friends until she ruined Tieflings running amok with her. <laughs> <laughs> Being the front woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, um, um, yeah. How are we gonna get to this island? Yeah. 
Uh, are we taking yeah, our boat? Thanks. Are we taking someone else's? Do we need a big boat like that, or can we not just take a little boat? I, I don't know. I don't know how far the well. How far's the island? Have you asked your shelf yeah? You're the one. There? You're the one who has the shell friend. Yeah, shell friend. Yes, I am. I'm the one with the shell friend. I'm Johnny's best friend. I believe Aww. I'm calling the shots here. <laughs> take the big. Yes, Clayton, you call the shots here. And as the person yes. who's called the shots, we will offer you first to the siren. Thank you for volunteering. Hey, if you're going to be like Johnny, you must take the reins. And I shall be like Johnny today. You remember what happened to Johnny, right? Yes, he is. Uh, we are seeking him out as one would seek out a deity or a treasure. <laughs> a something that you he might be a, and he looks over at Karina, a rock star, if you will. <laughs> conversation while kind of walking back to the ship. <laughs> yeah, I assume. Oh, we're, just, we're just waiting. We're ankle deep in the water. By the body. <laughs> just, just arguing, because that's how we solve everything. <laughs> As you guys walk back to the ship, you pass by Jeff drinking rum with the pirate queen, and we see a drunk kraken kind of like rolling in the lagoon a little bit. This is what people like Johnny do. This is what their legacy is. Legacy? Drunken Krakens and drinking with pirate queens? That's a hell of a legacy. He turns to his sister. You know, three days ago, I never would have believed any of this type of thing would happen. As one of the tentacles, he steps back as it's like smashing yeah. inside him. But now I find it rather comforting to know that this type of thing can happen. And on a quest to find Johnny, shouldn't the first obstacle be? And he steps again as another tentacle hits. Oh, that, like, everyone He's dating else a finished. drunken Kraken? Great, I just <sighs> I do not know what comfort you find in this, brother dear. But we'll go with you. I find the spotlight. I enjoy it. <laughs> what if I come back? <laughs> <laughs> now now I'm getting too much coffee, so I'll <laughs> Well, you, as you say, I find the spotlight and I enjoy it. Jeff, the bartender who's serving you, it's its a dwarf. He's like, Oi, is that tiefling's running amok? I haven't seen that in years. <gasps> oh my god. Kleenis just like, uh, oh Kleenis no. immediately uh, ducks because he's scared underwear is going to come his way, but when he <laughs> arrives, he gets a little upset. That's, uh, I don't know. I think it's a bit of a sore point between the two. You might want to, you know, perhaps speak oh. to, to to the brother more than the more it's than the sister about up. it. Uh, I'm not. I'll. Uh, uh, Wait, do you know Tieflings running amok? Eris shouts from where she's standing. He's the tour manager. Oh, you're the tour manager for Tieflings running amok. I could be. I did drink a lot last week. <laughs> As you didn't even know these people last week. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, we've definitely got to schedule a show then. Uh, <laughs> You're their tour manager. Well, yeah, we're, we're currently taking shows. Uh, where I think I think we're booked out into like some other dimension at the minute because we're looking for uh the the the, the tour the, our next tour is called Where's Johnny? <laughs> and it. yeah, it's it's sort of like it's 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 sort of like a, a mythical quest where we're going around doing performances trying to find the new pirate king Johnny. Is who we've been talking to? Me and the pirate queen here. <laughs> She's just like. We'll see when he arrives. It'll definitely have to be booked. What are these? The, the, the tieflings running amok? Yeah, I'd say, do, would you mind if we did a gig on your ship? Would that be cool? <laughs> Karina looks a little She's panicked. 
I don't think my ship would be the place to do it. If you're going to do a performance, it would have to be over there. And you see, there's like a pla like a stage where like, because like, there's the waterfall that comes from like the castle. It pours over this like stage area on a plateau before like the rest of the water runs down to form a second waterfall into the bay. And that way, all of the ships can see what's on there. Currently, it's, it's there's nothing going on, but he's like, she's like, that's where we have performances when we when we manage to snag a few bards. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a good it's a good spot for like. It lights really well, especially at yeah. night with the water. It's very... I, I'm just thinking logistically though. How are we gonna get all the rum up there? Oh, it's easy. Mr. Squiggles can reach that. He can lift the barrels. Can... Oh, fantastic! Let's do that then. <laughs> All right. Like, sure. Well... never looks panicked. But she looks <laughs> panicked right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we schedule for uh, whenever you get back from this uh, this fine Johnny tour? We'll start. We'll start the new the new tour here. I mean, we could possibly do a bit of a preview. We've not actually got a uh, a gig here yet. I mean, we uh, could. I'm sure we could schedule one in. I don't think we've got the, anything in the cut. We don't even know where to look yet, to be honest. The little, the little pseudo dragon, oh kind of curls around <laughs> Jeff's neck and just it's a little too tight <laughs> as you're speaking. Oh. And then it kind of pops up its head next to your ear. Hello, little dragon. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Kletos is on his shell, and all you guys hear in the background is the one-sided conversation where he's asking Archibald, so are you interested in being a, a front man? I could put the shell directly <laughs> up to a thaumaturgy cone. Um, I can play my lute. It will, I think my sister's going to cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be people there. Mm -hmm. Do you know, and you know what the pinnacle of the uh, of the, the the tour is going to be? It's when we actually find Johnny, because he was a, a bard of some renown. He knew a lot of songs anyway. Well, I feel like we should wait until until he gets back. Then <laughs> that sounds it sounds a little important if he was the front man. Oh yeah, of course he can come back as the pirate king, do the big gig, convince Queenie here that you don't mind if I call you Queenie, do you, Queenie? You've already done it, so why not? It, it suits you. It's a nice nickname. I like it. <laughs> and, and then, and then everything will be all right. Everything will come out in the wash. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tieflings running amok, opening for King Johnny and the Revolution. This is almost exactly <laughs> what Johnny would do. <laughs> <laughs> no bias at all. <laughs> None. <laughs> Eris and me, while has just sort of looked at everything and just mindful of walls, like she's got her arms like tight to her side. She's just gone and stood next to the ship, ready to get on it, just waiting for the inevitable moment of right. We're actually gonna go and do something. And oh god, the Blossom is in shock. She she doesn't know what to do at this point. The queen stands up. She goes, well. It's been lovely, really, having a nice drink, but I have a, I believe I'm scheduled for a pillaging at two, so I'm going to have to let you all go. Have fun, enjoy paradise. It was, oh, Mr. Squiggles should stay home and sober. Now it'll be more fun. Come on, Mr. Squiggles, let's go. So, and <laughs> Karina, how do we contact you if we need to? Oh, well, if you find any cephalopod just running about and you can speak to it, and just, it'll find a way. Ah, oh, fantastic. Through the cephalopods. Got it. No problem. Yes, basically. And then Jeff will walk back to the uh, the rest of the group and be like, I got a number. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not one to shame what someone likes. Good for you, Jeff. Thank you very much. I, I just didn't think that was what she was interested in. But, you know, everyone I, has their thing. Yeah, you know, good, I, good. I, I'm glad I thought of what Johnny would do because I was going to go and stab her. And actually, actually, I think she'll be okay when Johnny comes back. I think, you know, we can work something out. What if she, being the pirate queen, yeah, Queenie. Leaves, yeah. leaves you for Johnny, the pirate king? Oh. Well, you know, I'd almost say that's his right. 
you're prima nocta and all. You're a pretty open-minded um, gremlin there, aren't you? You found me naked with six other gremlins in a bath of rum. I, I, I did it. I did it. You, I didn't want that image. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> you can keep that all to yourself. I'm going to go on with this ship. I, ha, have fun. Yep. Oh, no. I, I need to I, go I, I, I think Lawson gets onto the ship. Karina will kind of sidle up next to her. And a very low infernal. Be like, on one hand, I just want to let my brother's whims possibly run him into the ground, teach him a lesson that way. But also, if we find our way to the siren, get some information on how to possibly deal with a certain someone. I was hoping to get that information out of the seer, but <laughs> things just got worse. Eris, er, Eris, I wonder how. <laughs> Eris, who's standing next to you, just kind of looks and goes, "You guys all right there? Yeah, you having a good chat?" Eh? In common, I yes, of course. Talking uh, about my book, remember my book? Oh yeah, yeah that. Oh yeah, I've never um, seen you right. <laughs> never seen. I wrote some a little bit, uh, but you know the whole Johnny thing. It's just we're just trying to get back on on track. Uh, um, I I look back at Karina and I'm in Infernal. I'm like, uh, um, so I, I I feel like you just want your brother to suffer a little bit, but still keep him around, correct? Essentially. All right. Yes, I I agree with that completely. Yeah, you hear all of this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh it's my the boat. god. And um yeah, the, your crew is there. They're waiting. Um I the, 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 as soon as Clayton steps aboard, they're like, "Up, oh, first mate." <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Is Karina is not the happy with that. On the way here. <laughs> That's right. First mate it is. So let us set sail for the Siren Isle to find Johnny. <laughs> All right, are you, who's steering the ship? I'll have a nope. go. Oh. Ah. Um, this time, knowing that Jeff is going to do that, Blossom is going to go over to Jeff and uh, just go... Please do, please do a little bit better and cast guidance. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So you can add a D4 to your ability check. <laughs> I, I, I thought we did just fine last time. <laughs> All right. You did great, Jeff. Just, I want you I to do better. I love how we don't replace Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we accept him for who to he help is. Him. It's right. not Johnny's way. We've got to support him and help him reach his goals. <laughs> Johnny was a living acceptance. <laughs> oh, God. I'll, I'll roll a 14 on my insight for checking out the ship this time. Yeah. You actually manage, I think you just needed a higher rum quota in your blood system. Because uh, you and the other gremlin, um, Joey, you guys like managed to, like you guys are fast enough of pulling the wheel all the way one way and all the way to the other that it actually stays fairly straight and only like swavers a little bit. And you guys get out onto the high seas. You pass through the ring of fog and clouds out of the Paradise Isles. You are headed northwest to yes. the Siren I Isle. See. All right. Um, Archibald. Let's yep, okay. see. We, I think we had two more bad things that had to happen. Yep. Or through two things get worse. So while you're... Uh, you're headed Archibald there. Archibald says there's no more bad things that are supposed to yeah, happen. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any more bad things. According I to Archibald. <laughs> yeah, According to I, Archibald. And I actually, it's uh, all, a, all a joke. I actually have five nat 20s. <laughs> yeah. Just, sure. uh, just, just pointing that out. Please. All please. right. While you guys are out and about, the clouds kind of start to turn dark overhead. You hear the crackle of, thun- the crackle of lightning and thunder above you. The, the sea gets a bit rougher. 
it seems you guys have sailed into a storm. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks basically like Plato's is back. Um, <laughs> um You brought this on us, Greg. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, I've worked out how to how to navigate the ship through the storm. What we gotta do is we gotta get sideways so the impact spreads out across the ship. <laughs> I mean, that's I not think... how it works at all, but I... <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely how it's going to work. Like, if we just go sideways, I mean, there's going to be so much less force because it'll be spread out. That's... <laughs> no. Yeah, Clayton <Clitus laughs> will take the wheel at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you say as the ship is sideways, you're like, oh, let's just let's just turn it. One wave hits you guys especially hard. I need everyone who is on deck to make me dexterity saving throws. Wow, as... I wonder what I'm going to get. <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh no! I believe the heiress gets a nat one on this. Oh no! Ooh, Are, hey, do I get a nat one on this one? Lindy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, you do. I mean, <laughs> you know, f me. I guess. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure. Wait, we have two net ones for the whole party. Let's just use a round of them on this. On this. God damn it! Everyone oh. is not expecting. They didn't. They, you're like, yeah, no, we shouldn't have the boat sideways. As you guys totally didn't notice that the boat was turned sideways. As he was explaining his theory, and he goes, "Boss is just going, like, damn you, Jeff!" <laughs> <laughs> and all of you are knocked overboard. Well. Uh, Aris just oh, shuts her mouth because she don't need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're You can just hold your breath indefinitely. Yeah, um, Earthen, you're not incapacitated. Earth and Lady donates again. No. Yeah, no, he please. does two, no. at, at least two bad things worth of donations for GM Go Mental. My Little Sirens <laughs> do it, also totally not a reference to anything. Hi. Okay. Earthen. <laughs> what have we ever done? <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna update my list here. I was like, things you worst times one. I was like times two, and then I was like times one, and like, I'm like, oh, I, I feel like times. even Lindy's running out of ideas here. <laughs> listen, listen, I, I I've been around Earthen quite a bit, and I'm here to tell you, Earthen is just like Johnny. Whatever is created via Earthen is part of the story, so it's <laughs> going to be great. Just ride it. Just, just ride it. It's like a rodeo. Just hang on for eight seconds and you're going to have a hell of a ride. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah. Well, as we use one round of nat ones for the party, things yeah. get worse. And uh, not only does this like 40 foot wave knock you all overboard, but it knocks you way far away from the ship. Yippee! Let's see how the crew does. Oh, I, have, I have an advantage, I think. Yeah. Oh, your crew does great. They're all they're all fine. Well, oh. good for them. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me just whoop mark that down so I know you know how many net ones you guys have left. Whoop. I I have Greg one, Kiana one, Katie one, and a nat twenty. Me one, Ali. I have I have nat ones for party. I have four, four left. Uh, um, I've got five left 20. for you, Ali. Because you're also included in the first yeah. round of nat ones mm -hmm. that we gifted to everyone, and you've got two advantages. Yeah, there's, there's one nat one left for the entire party, plus an additional four for Eris. Lightning has a nat 20, and then uh, Katie has a nat 20. <laughs> everyone also has two advantages, though. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I guess... Because I can hold my breath indefinitely, I'm gonna try and swim and try and pull the nearest person to me up All right. the surface. I will have everyone make constitution saving throws to see how well you can weather the storm. All right. Oh well. Uh, well, Lindy, I guess we know how that's gonna go. Right, Lindy, how far away are we from the ship now? When you say we got knocked far away, how far away are we? <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> Good question. Kleidos. Let's see. Let me roll. Let me roll a D100. Let's see how... With that nat 20 constitution save, can I just, like, chip in that when Kleidos took the wheel, I took a rum barrel or something, and I got thrown from the <laughs> ship oh with God. it? Why are you <laughs> 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 on it. Door. 
That sounds awesome. <laughs> um, Spring Blossom has I don't know. You blasters. guys are like, it was a big wave. It's probably like 180 feet away. 100 feet. 80, 80. Like 180, 80 feet away. Yeah. That's that's too far for what I want to do, Lindy. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys so just hear go. like a cat just screaming, just. Rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a we have a rum by riding rum barrel riding gr gremlin, and everyone else seems to have made their constitution save. Y'all managed to hold your breath as the storm swirls you about within minutes. You can't even see the boat anymore. And you, the, you guys' night just goes by like this. It was about evening when the storm hit. You all wake up the next morning on a rocky shore. The shore here is almost volcanic. It's black sharp rocks, bunch of it's kind of porous can't think of the way, the stone I'm looking for specifically, but it's black and porous obsidian and uh, pumice yeah, pumice and like obsidian, basically volcanic rock um, this island, it's rather small but in the center is like this pillar that rises up it appears in like, like, a, like a triangle oh. shape, it's like a pyramid pillar it kind of rises up Ooh. and there <laughs> is several caves going into it and yeah, you all wake up on the shoreline. It is maybe mid-morning. Not quite sure where you are, what happened. Archibald is still with you though. Oh well, thank God. <laughs> well, that's all we need. <laughs> um as soon as uh Kletos comes to, he will press the dig digitation himself until he's mm -hmm. perfect and um not offer to do that for anybody else. And <laughs> He will pull out the shell, like pour the water out of the shell, shake it. Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you shake more water out <coughs> Yes. Yes, hello. What happened? Sorry about that. I fell off a boat. It tends to oh, happen. Mind dreadful. That's, that's absolutely dreadful. We're on an island. It looks to be volcanic. If I'm to believe chat, this is Volcano Island. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling you for confirmation. What, what, what would you see? Is, is there like an active volcano? Do I see an active volcano? <laughs> um, no, it appears that whatever made this island is not, you don't see any smoke rising up or anything. The, the land beneath you doesn't feel especially warm. It appears to be like a, an old volcanic something or other. Yes, it's, it's an old volcanic island. Oh, well, then it's not Volcano Island. That one is active. Um, well, you're definitely stranded. There's, there's a bit of a, like an island, a volcanic island chain. What? I already, okay, Archibald. It, there's, 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 a, there's a whole chain of them, you see, and, um, we're, we're one of them, uh, one of the sirens uh, lives on one of uh, them. We, we, oh, she does. Yes. Okay. Don't pretend to break like you can't hear me. I know, I know you're faking it. <laughs> it's not in this works. It would. It's. I'm, I. Audible. Gotta go. It, what? You don't have a speech impediment. I've already heard you. <laughs> he uh, puts the show away. Apparently, we are on Siren Island, or at least on a chain of volcanic. It's we're somewhere. Well, that's uh, fucking funny. Also. Convenient. Earth and donates again. Greg, did you just leave your party dirty? Have some dirt too. Five nat ones. <gasps> now you know how it feels. Oh, this isn't my first yeah. earthening. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I am no earthen virgin. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I have worked. I it's... have worked the corner of earthen and get what you want. Honestly, long it's time. Your <laughs> other side of the earth thing. Oh, God. So it's weird. It's weird. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of that ones. <laughs> I, I'm nearly obscuring Greg at this point. I need to... <laughs> I can't anymore. Oh my gosh, I see the net ones. I'm yeah. done. Well, I, wanna, I, I gotta go look now. And Eris, you poor things. Yeah, what's wrong? 
What? Where are they? It's all the net ones. It's... Oh, oh, when, I, when I was a little bit quiet earlier, I was working on chat asked for a visual representation of that one, so I just went and grabbed some of Alice's oh. photos. And <laughs> yeah, I saw you working on something. I was like, we'll I have seven. Why do I have seven? What the hell? Oh no, 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 no. I've, I, I was counting. No, no, no. That's the appropriate number you have. No, 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 no it's not. No. Yeah, it's, that's what it says right here. Um, yeah. You guys, oh, this is beautiful. Wake up on this 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 island. Uh, so, uh, Jeff will wake up, he'll have got, somehow in the storm, have got the lid off the barrel and is sort of floating in it. Yeah, no, you wake up in the rum barrel. Eris, <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, is probably, although sort of dazed and kind of woken up, the second she realises she's on a volcano, she's like bouncing around, like kicking at the dirt with her foot and just sort of going... Holy shit, I've never been on an actual volcano before. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, wait, oh oh crap, is ever is anyone dead? And she just runs over to all everyone else, kind of give them a couple of pats. <sighs> Unfortunately, we survived. Oh, of course, good, of course we did. We're the we're the agents of Johnny. <laughs> I don't I don't subscribe to that name. Thank you, though, Jeff. No, someone told me <clears> that I was an agent, so I must be an agent of Johnny. Right, well, uh, and she kind of turns over to like Karina and Cletus and gives them each a little t pat. You, you, you guys all right? Holding up all right? God, Cletus, you look you look pretty good for a man that's been washed up. What's happened to you? No. Oh. I always look fabulous. It's something uh, you should have learned by now. But... Well, no, it's, yeah, it's, what, is that like a genetic thing? What, what What's going on there? He looks over Karina. Obviously not. But... <laughs> <laughs> Karina, Karina is getting up and she pressure digitates herself. There's a very oh, dirty look at magic to make ourselves look better. <laughs> looks over at Cletus and says, Yes, I'm sure you looked fabulous while you were drunk in the cave with the gremlins in full view of our dearest <laughs> queen. And she kind of stands up, shakes herself off. She'll pressure digitate. I have mistake. drawings of it if you'd like to see. I took, <laughs> I took, I took very, very good notes. Eris places tripod. down is her popcorn. Is that, is that for another time? <laughs> I'm assuming um, it's a large trifold that you're using. <laughs> I didn't need that much you. paper, Cletus. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> Um, uh, Blossom just winks and just puts her puts her uh, her uh, journal back away. <laughs> well, um, we're here on this pretty awesome volcano. Yes, yeah? should we uh, go in it? W where are we supposed to go? What does your shell friend say? Uh, Archibald says that we're probably in part of a large archipelago of volcanic. Probably. probably. It's he's not here. He's in a shell for crazy. Well, I, I, I know that. Okay. Well, I'm trying to tell you this I'm is very shell disappointed. life. You don't. You don't. You don't accept. You know. You just don't live the shell life. The shell life lives you. <laughs> and so he's saying, he's saying that we're in an archipelago and that we're probably on the Siren Island. Yeah. But I will. Let's just keep walking. Let's just walk because. I feel that there is a master of this dungeon that is probably <laughs> wanting to tell a story. And it is, uh, let's, yeah, let's, rails, we are off them. Let, let's go, yeah. Let's, Were we let's, ever yeah. on them? Were no. we ever on them? No, no, no but... Let's, let's be... The more we move... <laughs> you're, you're just talking crazy. No. <laughs> Alice is just already walking off, just hands in the air like, Whoop. <laughs> we're going. Yeah. You guys, uh, you're walking, Eris, and you see there are several cave openings um, just into this large center spire, if you will. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna maybe go into the first one I see. And the just first sort of go. One you see. All right. Pretty much. All right. Um, everyone can make me perception checks as well, if you like. Oh, wait! Let's see, Eris is gonna roll a nat one on that. And so uh, is Plato's. Uh, <laughs> 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 
I can't see a thing. Wait, can my pseudo dragon do a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotta put the stats. Can <laughs> I can't safe. remember what how much stats are. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you do? Perception. Oh god. Fifteen. Hey. For, okay, uh, your dragon, um, and spring blossom are gonna hear some humming kind of echoing throughout these cave systems. Um, Spring is going to just step forward and grab Karina, like, very gently by the wrist and pull her back. And I, 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 I think the siren's in there. I, I hear the humming. And, like, she kind of looks at you questioningly, and then the, the little dragon kind of seems to... Her, uh, her, 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 her cat ears sort of twitch. <laughs> yeah, they, the, the little pseudo dragon seems to agree, and she's like, <sighs> All right. Shall we let my brother lead the way, or? I was going to let you suggest it. <laughs> I didn't want to overstep any boundaries. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> my brother, dearest, I'm sure will handle himself just he did, fine. He did suggest that he was Johnny's first mate, and since Johnny isn't here, you know, he should take up the reins that Johnny would. So I'm not trying to hide this conversation. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you hear this. You don't hear the humming, but you hear that conversation. You're very in tune with your sister's voice. You and know you guys, when she's shit talking you. Yeah, yeah. I figured like <laughs> siblings six cents it's just mm -hmm. <laughs> i can sense the shit talking uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i i definitely nominate myself personally i'm kledos and eris to uh just go ahead first yeah i, I love exploring woo and she like bounces on her feet a little and like strides off into the cave adventure yes <laughs> We're going to ignore everything that happened before, right? Which positivity. It's going to be great. I'm just going to take notes back here at a safe distance. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Have, have fun. I'll bring you back a souvenir. Thanks. Have a charming time. <laughs> what? <laughs> great time. Oh god. <laughs> what is Jeff doing? Yeah. <laughs> barrel. Uh, well, he's still in the barrel, I guess. He's he's, <laughs> he's, he's just drunk. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, are we, are we moving? Are we moving? a barrel of water when it started out, but now it's rum. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are we moving on? I, I, I guess I better come along. I, uh, where the hell have I put the lid? I think I put it down somewhere. Oh, we were at sea. I put it down on the sea. Uh, I'll just carry it open. It'll be fine. Oh, I can drink it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I feel like you should go ahead as well. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I, I just feel like you and I bringing up the rear is the best option. Yes. Mm. Bringing up the rear of Johnny's agents. <laughs> All right, so you guys walk into the first cave entrance. You guys see you just just walking in. Yep. All just, right. Uh, Eris is destroyed. All right, Eris. You're first. I need you to make a deck save. Oh, wait. you. Wow, know. yeah, no, hold on. Let me just get my <laughs> dice. Bear with. All right. Nope, yep. You just, you don't even sure. need one. You know, one. Not sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, gee, um... You're gonna take. No, please. <laughs> no, let's not, Lindy. We can... I, I think of us as friends. You know? yeah. friends. Yeah. <laughs> God. You're all gonna right. take about ten points. Oh, of, that's alright. Uh, um, damage as you trip over motherfucker this like wire that's on the floor down a hallway <laughs> and into a pit full of ah. like, sharp seashells pointing up. Motherfucker! Have, have I got them like impaled through my skin right now? It's like, it's like when you roll on a bunch of glass 
It's just unpleasant. Oh. It's just a bunch of like sea- seashell shrapnel. It's just, <laughs> just that. <laughs> just that. You know, not nothing to write home about. It's all right. Every you just Floridian's experience. At the bottom of this pit, you just kind of hear <laughs> lots of like <laughs> just ah mother, <laughs> just like loud cursing from this pit. Loud I'll cursing. help you. Uh- <laughs> Just, you just walk forward too. Does he land on? I was right behind her, so okay. I'm, we went Wait, ahead. You did see her trip and fall and tumble. Ah! Are you gonna? Is there a check to be made here? You, because you can I make know a perception not... check if you want to see why she tripped, or if you if you just gonna assume it's her own clumsy. I will. Skin. I will. T- I will make a perception check, Lindy. Okay, you don't have to, <laughs> but um, just throw it out there. I'm gonna make. Do you want me to roll a perception check? Yeah, I'm you can roll a perception roll check. Here, here I come. Here I, I'm gonna roll it. Oh, you see, there's a very obvious tripwire. Nick, just right there. I expertly disarm it. Ah, oh, mother! It. It's literally like two pieces of rope, like a rope piece of rope between two rocks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> in this hole rolling around. <laughs> oh. I, take, I take the tripwire length of rope. And uh, take it to the pit's edge, and here, and I dangle it above. Aries. Can I? Can, okay. Can, oh no. Yeah, it's it's not that deep, but it's mostly the shells at the bottom that got gotcha. ah, you. Yeah, I'll just climb up. Do I have to? You notice the pathway that? actually continues okay. like left, but the pit was just straight ahead, and so you just. <laughs> <laughs> just climb That's an up. awesome trap, by the way. Like a, like a straight awesome piratey trap. Like, <sighs> throwing that shit out there. I love that. Okay. She's <laughs> like pulling shells off her like, ah, well, I mean, what's the venture without a bit of a uh, danger? Yeah. Oh, right at the goonies. Uh, yeah. Uh, seeing Aries like all messed up, he'll look around and make sure no one's looking and he'll press the digitation her real quick so <gasps> blood and stuff gets cleaned off. As if like the sun has come out, Eris like beams down at it. it was just <gasps> yes, oh, clay ice. Yes, yeah, whatever. Let's go. It really was nothing, but and, and she she gives him a very obvious hug around the middle and then just no, continues on the path. Do this. Oh, uh... er, hugging. It's time for rum then. Rum. <laughs> Oh, we're besties. Now that's just keep walking. No, that's just <laughs> you keep you keep going, going first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've I've come this far, you know. It's all right. All right, you guys keep going, and the path turns into a V. You can go right or left. <laughs> I, I I for once my senses kick in, and I just kind of glance back and go well which way are we going uh kletos will come forward and he'll put a hand on eris's shoulder and he'll head <gasps> left first okay oh. Oh, he's so nice and she just kind of follows after him. all right you're heading left and what's your passive perception me no, Kletos. Okay. My passive perception's a 14. Okay, you just miss this. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Just try to burn through these. All right. Yep. <laughs> um, and a giant net made out of, like, seaweed that was covered <gasps> with dust and shells just goes and grabs Kletos and who pulls it up to the ceiling? <laughs> and it was just like, oh shit. Um, and so can she sort of um get her um take out her little uh knife or whatever and just try and cut it down? Yeah. I definitely want Blossom to walk up on this with her book out and just she's just like sawing away at the seaweed, just like this yeah, is gonna be a great corner and Kleidos is in a net like, yeah. this and wait, gonna be a great chapter, don't you think, Karina? And Karina's just like, ah, yes. Oh, uh, make sure to get that little detail about where his ham is cooked up like that. Oh, yeah, de- yeah definitely, definitely. I-, I definitely want to put the part where his hair is out of place. 
ruffled shirt. Yes. It's at this point as he can hear you, you see that he has the shell to his ear in, <laughs> in there. Yes, yes, they're both terrible assholes. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, well, all right. I was going to suggest someone catch him, but I mean, I can try and catch him. I, and then See how and it goes. we're not going to catch him. <laughs> we're just not. All right. Well, maybe kind your of, shelf, maybe your show yeah. friend should you, catch you. You notice, like an old anchor was the counterweight for this trap, and you're just like, Solon, Solon, <laughs> Solon, you away. Right there, Eris. Um, I, I'm trying because I mean, it's, a, it's like a, it's a, it's like a rope. And so I mean, yeah, just, yeah. Karina, Karina will just go up and just, and she's just on just, <laughs> just shink. <laughs> yeah. No gentility at all. Nope. Just... <laughs> you chop through and... Mm. Kalados, let's see how well positioned this barrel is underneath you. Um, why don't we have Jeff make me some kind of intelligence check to see where, where he should have put the run barrel. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. So you go thunk, three feet left of the rum barrel, and you're going to take four points of uh, fall damage as you just miss it. Uh, Eris is like over him, just giving him little pats like, oh my lord, you're right. You, you, how, how many things am I holding up? Who, who's, what's your I'm sister's fine. name? Asshole. Yep, perfect. He's all right. Karina will help Kletos out. <laughs> and she's just like, oh, brother dear. You know I love you. <laughs> oh, I know at every moment that we're together, sister sweet. And he pressed the digitations himself as he... Yeah. And Eris is just again like, I've got to learn how to do that. It's so... And she just wanders off down, but continuing just down the continuing cave. Continuing down the mu cave. Muttering to herself, just, just, this is so cool. Like, how did I do that? God. So you go down further into the cave and you come into what looks like some kind of makeshift auditorium, maybe? There's a bunch of seats, mostly looks like benches taken from crashed and shipwrecked uh, boats and vessels, all placed around. Um, and in the center, like there's a bit more like it's like carved and in like an oval shape. What's the word I'm thinking of? It's like where they do the Shakespeare plays in the park, one of those Amphitheater. things. Amphitheater. Amphitheaters. It's there like you the go. sound can project forward. And uh, yeah, that you see that. There appears to be some kind of, you know, some old dusty cushions. It looks like this place hasn't been touched in years. No, can I still hear the humming? Mm -hmm. Is it getting louder? It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, what direction it's coming from. It's kind of coming from everywhere at once. Um, okay. It is a little louder, but it, it's hard to tell where it's coming from. Okay. Everything's just echoing in here. Now, there's... Can we all hear that now? I'm sorry. No, that's right. Uh, yeah, you guys actually probably would hear it because the sound is amplified in this room. Now, this Johnny would have loved. He loved standing on things. He was doing it all the time. I mean, we're all kind of standing right now, Jeff. Like, it's not a singular Johnny thing to be standing. Yeah, but he was like the master of it. <laughs> I, I suppose so. Like standing on things. Like, you remember when he stood on that box that said soap on the side? <laughs> yeah, How that box that just suddenly appeared and then disappeared. It's on the ship. Oh, never mind, it was on the ship. <laughs> I was... Wrong all along. It's cargo. <laughs> it was cargo. Yep. Yep. Wow, look at this amphitheater. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that thing over there? And she just strides up to it and just gives it a little drum with her hands. Obviously, dust like coming off it. You should probably be careful, Aries. Last time you touched something, someone almost died. And her, immediately her hands just fly to her side. She's like, oh, God, I wonder if she had any family. <laughs> Do you think someone was missing her? I prob 
probably, I, I, yeah, Claytus, you should ask your show friend. <clears throat> Archibald. Hello, Claytus. Me. Uh, how are you doing? No, oh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm a little bit drier now, so that's good. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Uh, the Sia, uh, the, the Triton woman in Paradise Cove, uh, did yes. she have family? Like, oh, she had an ex husband. Oh, so no, not really. Oh, no. Yes. She hated him. You she just see, checking in on him to see how she could curse him. What and was she... his name? His name, that's a good question. His name was a uh, Barbosa. <laughs> Ah, I was scared for a moment that it might be Johnny and that we were in deep shit. <laughs> but I was, I was simply, thank you, Archibald. We are, I'm, this is derailing us again. So, you know, every time I do this, <laughs> so well, I, I do enjoy the company. She, she never really uh, just chatted much. I really appreciate this. Oh, hey, absolutely. I like to. Oh, see, we're doing it again. Um, oh, just, goodbye, 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 goodbye. I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, I was I guess. Or, I'm joking. Shadow, you hear a hello echo throughout the chamber. Ooh. That was fancy. Where's that come from? Can I um, roll a perception to see if I can tell where it comes from? Sure. Okay, okay, okay. I probably don't know where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> can I roll one too, Lindy, to see if I can? Wow. Mm -hmm. Everyone can. Oh. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I percept as <laughs> much. That's all right. All. Make it a comeback. <laughs> Wow. No more will I be <laughs> arguing down. between the three of us. We just don't know anything. <laughs> Claytus, Karina, and Spring all point to the same direction, and Eris points to the yeah. exact opposite yeah. way. Yeah. Eris, you you can tell. And actually, um Jeff can probably tell as well. This this voice is being amplified. And it's, it seems to be coming from more than one direction at once, but it's coming strongest from what sounds like on the other side of the amphitheater wall. Um, yeah, Aris is just kind of going to go, oi, and just point to sort of the to amphitheater. The wall. Yeah, she, <laughs> to the wall. And uh, she's just going to point and go, I think it's coming like behind there. Is that like the siren? Ah, uh, cool. We should go and say hello. That's what Johnny would do. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I've always wanted to meet a siren. Like, I, th I think it's in my little journal of stuff to do. It's on my bingo board. Your, yeah. your, your bucket list for yeah. the things you do before you die. Uh, I, um, is that what that is? Oh, I mean, I, I just made a little, oh. No. Have I got to die after I do all this? Is that I, like a rule? No, I, I can assure you there's only one good thing that buckets are made for, and that's holding rum. And something else, but I don't think I'm going to get into that. Same right, thing for me. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, uh, and with that, Eris just kind of goes, well, we've done pretty well so far. Shall I uh, take the leads and go see what's going on around there? Of course, Eris. And I think that Clayto should go with you for protection and backup in case if it is the siren, you know, if she, you know, is... It, wants to be favored by one thing or the other and maybe jeff should go with you in case she likes stop yeah it, 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 i can hear you you might need to cast prestigitation again who knows we, we might not know you know you are muted. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't hear me that time <laughs> Do you like rumblings or tieflings or genasis? I like many things. What oh, brings sweet. you to my island? Uh, she likes many things. She's already got the right attitude with regards to Je to, 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 to Johnny. <laughs> you got like... there in the end, buddy. You yeah? got there in the end. Hey, I've been drinking rum since before I was awake. You're a grumbling. You've got no excuse. <laughs> Tough it up. 
Fucking <laughs> water to run. Um, and so with that, because obviously now she's talking, Eris is probably going to round the corner and see if she can see where the voice there is actually, coming from. There actually, there is no corner. It's just, it's a oh. wall. Oh, heck. That's what it was. Okay, I guess she's going to go up to the wall. You can get onto the stage and you can look for yeah. like, a trap door or something if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show that. Yeah, you can make me an investigation check. Can I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hooray. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, you search around and you find like a stage door underneath, like the floor. But you look under there, and uh, uh, actually, you try to look under there. It's locked. Can I punch the lock off? Yeah. Hell yeah! I'm a monk. We're gonna Go do this it. shit. All right. Can I roll it? What is it? Was it strength? It, yeah, make me a strength or athletics. <laughs> nice. You just. Like center yourself, yeah, and then bah, you punch the the lock, and kachink, it breaks off. The trap door is now unlocked. Guys, I found a completely unlocked trap door. <laughs> Guys, here, punch the floor. I found an unlocked trap door. <laughs> I wasn't here before at all. <laughs> oh right, well, uh, here goes nothing. And Eris just kind of assumes that people are going to follow after her, so she just jumps down into the trap door. Okay, you jump down here, and it appears that there are um, lots of props and also a lot of skeletons. Ooh, props! As if to put on a production. Um, costumes. Oh, oh, she, re- she reacts to the props, but not the skeletons. Cobwebs. Okay. There's okay. also about... <laughs> 30 or so skeletons down here. Bloody hell. Most of them have like their hands about like at their ears. Oh. Hey. Or, or where their ears would have been. Kledos looks skeletons. down into the, the trap door. Oh, this is terrible. This is an awful <laughs> hellish place. I mean, they got some good props down there though. Just gotta That's pick what you're some... focusing on, is the props? And I not mean, the, people, the skeletons with their hands over their ears? You know, we've got to focus on the positives here, Clay. I mean, if you think of all the, you know, the stuff we've been through, focus on the positives, yeah? I hate to say it, but that's what Johnny would have done. He starts tearing off a piece of his, uh, <laughs> like, he's tearing off strips of his bandana and begins packing it. Yes, uh-huh. I'm completely listening. Yeah, As yeah. L- let me tell you about my life story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Blossom is taking pages out of her journal and and offering some to Karina as well, and, and packing her own ears. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're you're, you're kind of packing them. Everything's muffled, but you you can still you can still hear. But it is it is definitely muffled. Um, and you guys hear those of you who have packed ears hear muffled, and it's like, I ask again, why have you come here? Jeff, answer her question. Johnny who? <laughs> what isn't that interesting? And through the wall, ah. you see a spectral form come out. It appears to be... You've seen sirens before. You guys are pirates. This one appears to be maybe like an elf. She used to be an elven esque siren but she is now spectral and floating i've seen him and you see her and she is hideous she she definitely looks like she's definitely undead and has definitely seen better days So, you know, she feels about that. Okay, she's like, well, I would if I could, but I'm not really capable as I am now. You wish to know where Johnny Deep is? Why? Hmm. I'll do a reading for you, but you must do something in return. (laughs) 
<laughs> a reading into where Johnny is, a fortune telling. I want you to hear me sing. It's Mute been so long it's... since I've had an audience. Ah, oh, well, we'd love to hear you sing. Wouldn't we all love to hear you sing? Eris, whose head has just popped up from the trap door, <laughs> just kind of looks up and goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, we've got a stage here, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. That, and, and then she just pops back down hey. to go get like a, a prop. <laughs> we've like, got a on. stage. We've got a barrel full of rum. We've got seats. We've got an audience. This is the perfect place for you to, for you to, to perform. Yes. I built this place many years ago for such purpose, but it's been so long since I've had company. And that is a terrible shame. Please sit. Yeah, Eris kind of scrabbles up with, like, when you say props, what, like, what props are down there? Um, there's, like, m like, the masquerade masks, there's fans that are moth, like, ridden and, like, torn and, like, holes in them. There's gloves, there's costumes, there's... Yeah, Eris has acquired, like, a really big feathery hat and she just climbs out of the trap door with it and sits herself in the seat, like, Got, like, cobwebs in it. Yeah, yeah, she's loving it. Uh, Blossom has, like, with the paper stuck in her ears, is also holding over her ears, like, just casually sitting down. <laughs> casually sitting ears. down, holding. Yep, just, yep, just, yep. Beautiful. This is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Does everybody sit down? Yep. Oh, I'm, I can't wait to hear the song. It's I'll just good, I'm, just, I'm just looking at Karina, and I'm like... <laughs> No, she the she's sitting down. She has something planned, possibly, but she okay. she's sitting down. All right. So you all sit down, and and she's like, dear dear Tabax, you can't hear my performance with your ears covered. Uh, um, I actually am very very sensitive to 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 noises and such. So I'm just gonna I'll hear it. I promise. Make me a persuasion. Oh no! Actually, <laughs> a deception check. I'm gonna nat twenty it. Okay, you do have one. That, that's by nat twenty. She's like one of those bats. Got really good hearing. I've heard cats have good hearing. Fine, and she kind of floats over to the center of the stage. Takes a deep breath in, and she begins. Her horrifying aria. I need everyone to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, gee. Oh, okay. boy. I, as soon as she opens her mouth, Karina's casting a blink on herself. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, roll me a 1d20. After all, a d20. <sighs> all right. Come on. All right. 17 let's see let's see i think it's 11 or higher yep so you yep. you blink can can i roll with advantage because i'm like you know all covered up and everything let me see no <sighs> not for this Lindy, one. i have not rolled yet do you want me to roll this wisdom saving throw i was gonna say i'm just uh, sat here i know what's happening yeah, yeah. you know i've accepted my fate <laughs> Sure, let's, yeah, let's just use another net one for both of y'all. Why not? Oh, I, yeah. I figured that was coming. I just yeah, exactly. Coming. So I just sat here. <laughs> no, I was going to save it for something else, but sure. Sure. I'm a benevolent DM. You're, you're lovely. <laughs> you're very kind. All right. Um, it's awful, and you know it. All right. Everyone, <laughs> except for Karina, is going to be frightened as you see this undead very hideous looking maiden her as so she starts to sing her jaw 
appears to unhinge and her visage just grows even more horrifying. Her nails lengthen and she lets out this screech. You kind of get what she means now, Cletus, when he, when he says her, her voice is kind of, kind of going. Um, you believe she might be more of a, like a banshee now than a siren. Um, you all are frightened of her. This is the most terrifying thing you've seen in quite some time. And, uh, yeah, roll me another, uh, d20, Karina. Okay, cool. While she was singing, uh, Karina was moving closer in the ethereal plane towards... Okay. Specifically where this... Oh, oh, can she see in the ethereal plane? Let's see, let's see. I don't know, but I pop back in the a ghost. I think... Oh, can she oh. see the ethereal plane? Oh. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I, say not right now. Either way, I pop back into the material plane 30 uh -huh. feet. Uh, actually, how many feet closer? How fast do I move? Yeah, 30 feet closer. Okay. So, assumably, pretty up close to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like front row. <laughs> yep, but um, I'm just yeah. watching this. You're just watching this? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she's singing. She's she's just going on for her, her whole aura. She's scrutinizing all of you. You guys are terrified. And she's going to pause and she says, that was act one. What did you all think? And uh, ah! Right. <laughs> and just, it just winds off. It's, it's like this <laughs> silent scream and she's just like, <laughs> Jeff is yes. just looking at the rum barrel like <laughs> You didn't like yes. it? Archibald, I'm terrified right now. <laughs> I'm scared beyond the Don't ability to rational. That. You'll get offended. I've pressed the digitation to the urine from my trousers <laughs> twice. <now. laughs> uh, Karina says it was quite lovely you are of a talent like no other clearly yet you have drawn me closer to the front row um make me a deception check karina okay all right let's see what you got 14 all right kitty i gotta roll insight kitty <laughs> oh 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 she beams at you. Oh. And she goes, Well, I suppose I don't need to go on into the second act then. No. You want to know where Johnny Deep is? Yes. Oh, you don't want be... to hear the second act? I said, <laughs> We would love to hear the second act, but of course we are pressed for time, as you can imagine. How about an interval? <laughs> an interval? You know, where would people go get like ice cream during the interval? You know, chat mission. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then whilst that's happening, you tell us where Johnny is during that intermission. Yeah. I will do a reading. Yeah. And you see, she kind of uh, like closes her eyes, but you can still like see them because they're just like undead kind of eyelids. And then, uh. yeah. And she, and her voice kind of booms out like Galadriel does and the like fellowship of the ring and like it's all glowy and then it's green flashy lights and it's really cool um and uh, you hear let's see what languages does she speak this is kind of cool no oh, just regular stuff okay elvish and common you hear her say the one they call johnny deep has been taken in by the cult of the kraken well, fuck, another cult. This cult seeks to take over all of the Twelve Seas. Hey, did you say is to take over or wants to take over? Wants to take over. That is their intention. They are going to harness, they intend to harness the luck of Johnny to accomplish their goals. Well, they've probably already won then. Yeah, I mean... There is still time. The High Priest hasn't yet arrived. 
they're still working on how to harness luck. It's a fickle thing. Do you wish to know where the cult is? That'd be pretty handy, yeah. They're located a week's journey west, near the edge of the world. Oh, bugger. That seems fitting. <laughs> There's so, also. So we're we're really we're really doing this for Johnny then for for we're really going toward the end of the world for Johnny <clears throat> for Johnny. The edge of the world, not the edge. A- a- edge of the world. It's where all the water runs off. Huge, huge difference. Yeah, completely. <gasps> yes. Um, for Johnny. The Johnny. So this cult, they want to uh, harness luck, if I am to understand correctly, my dear Simon. Yes. I'm I'm messing with forces they can't possibly understand. (laughs) That's sort of what I was thinking. I mean, if if Johnny has found himself a cult that's trying to take over the world, I mean, doesn't that just mean that Johnny's going to take over the world? So really, all we got to do is just wait. (laughs) Yeah, basically, uh, he'll... (laughs) Come to us at this point. Yeah, and you'll want to. By the time you know, we get there, he'll be in charge. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> how about we all go back to paradise? Yeah, maybe. It could back. happen if they would allow him consciousness. Oh, what? They are keeping him suspended in a half awake, half asleep state, so as he can use his own <laughs> luck against them. <laughs> they know he is a dangerous, and powerful weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like someone has thought this through. <laughs> they, have, they have waited years for this plan. Take fruition. Years. And it was on a mural. And if there was a prophecy, I could go into it. But yeah, the, the really. <laughs> and my dear Siren, what would That's happen? That's what the third act is about. <laughs> My dear Siren, what would happen if the uh, if the cult managed to uh, harness the power of luck? Oh, zombie apocalypse! They're all they're an undead kraken cult. They'd probably go inland after a while. Oh, uh, that old chestnut. <laughs> would Would you mind terribly if I was to pull these guys into a quick huddle? I'll allow it. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> yeah, huddle up. Yeah. 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 She absolutely terrifies me. Absolutely terrifies me. But Johnny would offer her a place in the crew. Oh, no. I mean, right, I hate to say it, but having someone like her on our side, like, that's pretty good going. Especially if we're going end of world, yeah? I, I think... Clay- you, should, you should show her your third leg. Oh, yeah! I, I don't know about that, but I think Claydos should do it. He's, he's, bring it. Bring, bring he's, out the big gun. Johnny's best friend. I'm, I'm terribly, I'm terribly frightened right now. I'm afraid that it's shrunk. It's shrunk. <laughs> Maybe don't have that as your go-to convincing move. I know. You <laughs> Karina. No, Johnny? you smell like urine. What? Did that ever stop Johnny, Kleidos? I don't think so. I mean, what? Oh, God. WWJD. WWJD. Oh, do it. For Johnny. <laughs> Karina, just like, make a silent prayer to, uh, uh, oh, Raven Queen, bless my dear, dear brother. Boss is just like, Boss is just like, let it happen. You wanted him to embarrass himself? Uh, let so you make a little call out to your patron, the Raven Queen. It's a very, like, very flippant, just being like, yeah. Let's just roll down the hundred. Oh Let's boy. The higher the worse, yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. It's pretty middling. Okay. And can I can I call on her as well? Yeah. As <laughs> yeah. And I will remind that everyone does have two advantages. Yeah, this is just her being sarcastic to her to mm-hmm. make me like 
okay. watch my Everyone's brother got two advantages. as he embarrasses himself. <laughs> I thought it was just Ali that had two advantages. Um, it was everyone gets two advantages. Yes. I thought. So does that mean I, I, I have four? I thought it was just her too. I thought okay, it was just well, that. Well, then I probably just wrote it down. I will change <gasps> that. I'll oh, have more. I don't mind. There we go. <laughs> I'll take some more advantages. That'll be all right. Oh, we're good. We're good. It's probably okay, me. so if this is what is happening. Kledos is <laughs> inching forward if the DM will allow me because this is a I'm in a frightened condition. Yeah, but, yeah you are. You are okay. afraid, but you're not. You're not like fighting. So. Oh, I just. Uh, okay. Kledos is in that twenty as well. Yeah, yeah he does. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Aris the only reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> Eris uh, uh, and Jeff are like behind, waving a little makeshift flag, like that has "Go Kletos" hastily written on it. Yeah, John Go. is crossed off, and it says Kletos. It yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Go, get busy. Um, much like race dance in the original Ghostbusters, uh, Kletos is inching forward <laughs> as he's staring at the siren, and he says, "On behalf of the." ship of Johnny Deep and his crew, the once and future pirate king would like to offer you a place upon his ship before you go back to wherever you are on this or any other parallel dimension. And I'm going to nat 20, this persuasion roll. This persuasion focus- check to get in a cup with you? As he focuses his new patron, Johnny Deep. <laughs> Johnny Deep? <laughs> <laughs> she goes normally i don't leave my island but you're the first people who have enjoyed my performances in years well the only ones who survived it in years too i suppose i shall come with you on this quest it's, it's, we haven't got anyone who sings ship shanties yet ah fuck <laughs> I mean, oh. ma- maybe we can like, because right. you know, she she's been here for so long, and Eris kind of hesitantly takes a step forward and sort of, I mean, she's been here for so long, yeah. Maybe we can introduce her to new forms of singing. You know, how about <sighs> mime? Now that's an amazing style of performing. You know, mime and oh, I have another song I could sing. Ah, shit like to hear it as i I think we should um just i think we should go and continue on our journey to find johnny no 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 no. we'll hear it later you know like a celebration song how about yeah Yeah, after we find johnny and also you know they always say save the best till last we've already had one song and just i think how many more people are going to hear your beautiful voice Oh, I want to hear the song. I'm excited. Shut up, Jeff. I'll put you back in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine she just dunks him. Like, yeah. <laughs> she just leans on the barrel whilst Jeff's struggling inside. Just. Yeah. <laughs> the last. Oh, God, he might drown. <laughs> just takes him back out. So the blah, 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 soon turns into. <laughs> 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 I'll drink my way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a vessel? Yeah. It... Wait, shit. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Well, I've amassed some trinkets over the years. I suppose I could donate one to the cause. It would be most gracious of you, my dear Simon. It would, wouldn't it? You're just so, you're so generous. And scary. Very scary. What? (laughs) Terrifying. Scary in the way that the waves are sublime, my dear Siren. And she like gives a dirty look to like the rest of the crew. I'm sorry. Scary as in bladder emptying, emptying scary as bow quivering scary. she like Karina puts like a hand to Plato's face as in heart <laughs> <laughs> she goes into the wall and there you hear nothing but silence 
Oh, Kleidos, you were so rude to her. You scared her <laughs> off. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it seems pretty easy to me. We just gotta head west. Yeah, sounds... Uh... With what With what vessel? She said she has trinkets. If these trinkets are boats or transports of some kind, they need to be nearby in a lagoon or a cove of some sort. I've got a barrel. Oh, are there any, are there any, are there any like lagoons with waterfalls? Cause there might be a cave behind it. Excellent idea. That's what Johnny taught us. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go try to find wherever the siren went to. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of other tunnels. Uh, you can kind of wander throughout them for a while. And eventually, you come up to more and more corpses, just skeletons littering the floor. And you're like, oh, this is probably in the right direction. And you see, um, or you hear humming again before you see anything. And up ahead, this chamber opens up. It's like a dome made out of bones and inside you see gold and jewels and trinkets and jewelry and all sorts of other knick-knacky things and she's kind of just angrily sifting through some of it <laughs> she looks a bit my dear siren it looks like you are searching for something could we perhaps help i suppose but you have to hear another song first. Another song to do you a favor. Another song and I will do you the favor. It seems you are shipwrecked here. So you have no vessel. <sighs> <laughs> she knows. She knows. <laughs> uh, says, of course she would know. She is Oh, knowing, and she's like, <laughs> keeps like giving, like, shut up, <laughs> don't fuck this up, looks at everyone. This is my song of sadness when people don't like my music. And she's going to wail. This must be a dramatically the most popular song. <sighs> yes, I need everyone to make me a constitution saving throw. Oh boy, I wonder what I'm gonna get. Okay, Let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, God, no, oh, no, 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 why? Why? God, why? No. Okay. I <sighs> thought mine was bad. <laughs> yeah, did you? Did you now? Yeah? I had plus three on that. God. All right. Damn it. So, the good news is that, um, oh God, Kleidos. Okay, Kleidos and Jeff, you're not scared anymore. This is actually. <laughs> Like you listen to this song, and it's a, it just it tugs at your heartstrings. You feel for this. She's experienced great loss and uh, sorrow at some point in her life. Um, the bad news is is that your three companions dropped to zero HP and passed <gasps> upon hearing this song. Well, what <laughs> that was a knockout performance. I thought that was incredible. <laughs> You've killed Greg, that's it, we're done. <laughs> what? You really think so? Look at the evidence! Yes, that usually happens, I just assume that means they hated it. How could anyone hate it? It tugs at the heartstrings. <laughs> really does, and I don't have a heart. <laughs> I think I do. I've never seen mine. I can show you if you'd like. Mm. <laughs> Put a pin in that. All right. Well, if you really liked it. Here, and she pulls out and she holds a little, um, a little boat. There's a bunch of hinges on it. Is this one of those boats that fold and get bigger? Yes. That's awesome. 
Yes, I believe it's called the folding boat. It's clever. <laughs> and I need everyone else to make me a death saving throw. I know, I'm deliberately. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna call Archibald and tell him about this. Archibald! Oh. I hate you so that much. That was a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Kiana. That's fine. That'd be great. I understand. Alice succeeds. Oh, sweet. The tenor hire. Archibald, we, we oh, found sweet. a floating boat. I'm holding it. I've heard of those. They, they, they sound quite excellent. Can you tell me how to use it when we get down there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just unfold it. This is, I believe there's like two different sizes. There's a small boat and a larger Jeff, boat. listen to this. Listen, come here. Oh, oh God. God. Hello, is it, my name is Archibald. <laughs> See, it's, it's, this is my friend Jeff. Jeff, say hello. Uh, hello? Hello, Jeff. It's Jeff. Oh, my, hello. Yes, my name is <laughs> Archibald. I'm a tour guide. Oh, oh, you're a tour guide. Yes. I, mean, I used to be, and then, and then things happened. Tell, tell him where you are, Archibald. Tell him where you are. We're, we're, yep. we're on Volcano Island. No, 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 no. Not you, Jeff. Archibald, Sorry. Tell Jeff where you are. Oh, I didn't get, I got confused. I'm trapped inside this shell. Look at that. Inside the shell. <laughs> do, do, sh should we, should we crack it? Should we crack the shell? I'd I prefer if you didn't, actually. Are you a hermit crab? What's a hermit crab? What are like the, the the little crabs? What wear the shells on their backs? Not conch Have shells, though. <laughs> they can dream. They can dream. No, no, I don't. I don't believe I'm a crab of any sort. Well, that would have been interesting, but. How could we get you out of here if we wanted to, Archibald? Well, there really is something to think about. I mean, the, the, the siren might know. Um, and yeah, I need I need Karina and Allie to make another another death save. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Loving it. Nice. Everyone succeeds on round two. <laughs> well, I've got to go. My sister's face down in the water over here, so. As long as she's, that... she's still breathing. Shouldn't we help them? I didn't know. Oh, I, haven't I could, yet. I could oh, give them yes. some rum. No, yes, rum might remedy the situation. Here, pour this down and you hit the shell off to Jeff as he goes over and lifts up Karina and looks at her. She's, she's breathing. Um, one more round of death saves. Let's see if you guys pop up. Does, does Jeff give them all oh. rum? Beaming. I, yeah. Look at what you get for picking me up, Valor. Eris, Eris wakes up. Oh, bloody hell. What the hell happened? I'm not. I failed my first one, so I'm still down. I know. <laughs> yeah, failed, uh, we're still down. Hang on a minute, uh, Ar Archibald. Hang on. I'm just going yes. to go and pour some, uh, some rum. Oh, and, uh, and, it. And, and spring... them loosen up. They sound very stuffy. Yeah. What? So, uh, he's just gonna walk yeah. over to Spring Blossom, the kitty, and just sort of like kick her over so she's facing upwards, and then just like pour the barrel on her face. Uh, okay. Uh, Eris, do you say you anything for Karina? Uh, uh, what he's going to do is he is going to perform a medicine check, but uh, narratively, what he's doing is he's using thaumaturgy to just snap like in front of her. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. That's hilarious. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you you stabilize her. Sister Sweet, you seem to have fallen. <laughs> As this like has happened, like Karina sits up, assumably head bunny clothes yeah. on the way oh. up. Jesus, whoever that is. <laughs> Johnny, you mean Johnny? Johnny, <laughs> uh, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Does the rum do anything for Spring Blossom? Oh, you are drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and probably Bella! very wet. Probably a very wet. And also very wet. Yeah, a goblin, a, a, a grumlin has been bathing in that for hours. It's like 130 proof. It's like. Yeah. I just, I, I don't even come up. I just open my eyes. I'm just like, oh, I've never felt this before. <laughs> oh, my lord. Is she finally drunk? 
Oh, I'm calling you back. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, shit. This is new, but I'm alive. Right. So what actually happened while we were at? Are we getting help or wh where are we going? What are we doing now? Uh, Kletos and he'll go over to Jeff as they almost in tandem, I would assume, if, if it's okay with Scrat. They together present the folding boat. Oh, oh. what? Folding. That's so cool. What the heck is that? Folding boat. Oh, we have it. Why, it's awesome. why is it? We need a big boat, not a little boat. Little fold boat. We have a big boat. Gets bigger. No, I mean, so the boat good. works like that. Oh, sweet. It's a grower, Should not a shower. Mm, like I was you, thinking Lyle. that. <gasps> I was oh, thinking no. that. Didn't want to say it. Fuck. <laughs> It's, it's It'd be close. really odd if you said that, sister. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, this is wonderful to hear, Kleos, more about you and your greatness. All right, then, let's, uh, all right, then, and I, and I kind of steer spring like a word of like okay let's, let's, you're moving way too quick there for let, the let's, let's get on this boat yeah Let, let's go find johnny <sighs> fucking johnny come on just give a little pat be so lucky i mean that's, she also that's <gasps> <laughs> 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 sorry lindy yes she also <laughs> Out a coin. I'm sorry, Lindy. You have a story you're telling. <laughs> <laughs> I, you want to know how much how much I had planned for today's session? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a pro. <laughs> Give them a shell that talks to a. <laughs> <laughs> and go. All right, she a goes. Coin. She answered the coin. Uh, she answered to Kalados, probably. Um, and she goes, this is a lucky coin. If you concentrate on it, it should direct you towards Johnny. Please tell me that the head side of the coin is a profile of Johnny. Yes. <laughs> In effect, if you, th if you think about flipping heads, it always flips heads. I was gonna say it's think about flipping tails, it flips tails. Please tell me the tail side is Johnny's Don't. ass. Oh <laughs> it's just a profile, it's just a side profile, it's just <laughs> what is this? What have we created? What is this? <laughs> I think I need to get on DMs Guild. We've got some like new deity <laughs> stuff going on here. This is a new patron. This is a trickery <laughs> god. Oh my god. All worshippers automatically get the luck feet. <laughs> Karina uh, kind of. Yes. Yeah, she sighed. <sighs> I suppose we should go and prevent the end of the world, should we not, brother dear? Ah, uh, yes, sister sweet. And he flips the coin up and catches it. For Johnny. Do you catch no, it on the ass side of it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, please, what kind of game is this? Right. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay. We will set sail. All right, so you guys get out of the caverns. The, the banshee is following you. Um, let's see, we still have a bunch of that ones. Good hit. Yeah, we do. Okay. All oh, right. Boy. Oh, I still have crits too. Oh boy. All right. <gasps> but we also, you know, we've got time. We do, we do. We have a couple more games. Mm. So you guys uh, head up to shore and um, you unfold this boat. It becomes like, you know, like a, like a 15 foot boat. Then you uh, unfold it some more and it becomes it's, it's a small ship but it's got you know central mast it's got a steering wheel it's got a little below decks it's got a little cabin get yourself a seafaring vessel uh, that gosh. is amazing 
That's so cool. Oh my god. It, it used to be a fishing vessel. You can see there's a bunch of like um slots for like fishing like uh you know you what? put you put the um fishing oh, rods like into so you don't have to like watch hold them all the whole time you can just watch and see which ones bite. And on the side of the boat uh is painted um the master baiter b a i t e r. It's a fishing vessel. Yep. Okay. This, this, the, the, the people that we have met just have the most creative names for their vessels. It's just chum guzzler and masturbator. I mean, who Master knows what? What? <laughs> I mean, it's just some wonderful things. Just yeah. some shit. When? So much creativity. Yeah, there's like, there's like a never ending bucket of worms. It's just a bait bucket. It never ends. <laughs> The Those really break. look like worms. Yep. <laughs> oh god. There's big worms, small worms. There's all sorts of worms. Let's, let's get on this boat, shall we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Clearly, Who takes concentrate on Johnny to at least navigate. Okay. He'll, he'll take the rudder or the wheel or whatever there is. Yeah. In this you feel, you feel a little lucky. You feel like this coin also acts as a stone of good luck. Fantastic. Because <laughs> Cletus believes. He does. <laughs> and he convinces the siren. Um, and you feel it pulling you westward. It's like no matter which way you face the coin, it all the head always faces west. Like, Johnny's always looking at Johnny. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Excellent. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Aren't we all? So yeah, he he will direct whoever if he's driving, he'll point it. Mm -hmm. If somebody else is driving, he'll just stand at the front and point in the direction in which they're all supposed right. to. All right. You point in the direction and you begin setting sail. You sail for the rest of the day. Um, let's have somebody roll a d20 just to see. See how, how eventful the day is. Is that one person or all just of us? Just one person. All right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, an 18. That's something eventful. <laughs> All right, oh, so no. you guys are sailing along, and you see, you see in the distance, but appears to be another vessel. Here we see a sail, a yeah. marking. It's, it's got a sail, it's got a flag. Um, it's, it's, it's really, does anyone have like a, like a telescope or binoculars? Nope. Is it the Chum Guzzler? It is, oh, you'll have to see. You get, you get closer. Do you, do you aim towards it? Is the flag brown? The flag is a bit brown. The flag's the right color. Let's go. <laughs> you aim towards it. But as you get closer, you notice that it's more like a, like a beige-ish brown. And uh, you see that the side of the boat... The, this boat's name is the Krusty Baguette. The, the, uh, the, it's like a baguette. I, I know it's a, a huge, it's a very long boat. It's a long boat, actually. I, I know what a baguette is. I know. <laughs> it's the name that of the That is the boat. longest, girthiest boat I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. God damn it. I hate it. It's... Like yeah. The crusty baguette is, is up on the, the horizon. You see its flag is beige. You see a rather large oval on it as its insignia. Basically a big baguette. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you get do you, do you get do you approach closer? You see you see this this boat. What do we do? Do we go and 
Uh, yeah, I, I guess I just sort of give it a wave with uh, sort of my arm out against the, the ship, sort of, Hey, is uh, anybody uh, over there? That's Hello? not how you do it. Aha! Well, all right, fine. All right. You call out to this ship. Your ship is your smaller boat, and this boat towers above you. And uh, you hear, Oh! Who is this? This oh is God. the horizon. I am Captain Philippe. <laughs> Next time, I'll, I'll see myself out. Oh my god. <laughs> broken. I'm literally about to send a text message to Summer right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, I have had so much fun today with this. Like, I, 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 I don't think I can put into words how much I love this session. Like, like, yeah, I, I can't like it's like every single time I come into it knowing that it's going to be full of chaos and hilarity, but it's just it's it's always so much better than I expect it to be. And I love it for that. So, so oh. uh, let's go around. Let's go around cast and crew and uh, start wrapping things up. And we'll start with none other than the wonderful DM, Lindy. <laughs> I'm awake. I, I did notice like halfway through the robe left and, and Wait, Lindy yeah, came into like it's, it's, not hot. It's, still, it's really weird. It's There's nice. a lot of lights to make the green screen work. But she's yeah, like a prize no. fighter. <laughs> still pajamas though. Next um, week towel over the head. <laughs> I'll get my taekwondo glow like my mic my sparring gloves out and be like, ready. Um but no. Um I literally, can't, I tried to plan for last night. I was like, man, I should, you know, Johnny's missing. We should have like an epic quest to go get him. And I was like, you know what? This whole game has thrived off of luck and improv. Let's just keep going. Let's see, let's see where this goes. And, it, and it's turned out pretty fun. I'm, I'm really liking where the today's session went. Um, things got worse, and then they got worse again. And there's, I think there's still one round of worse to go. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that'll involve the crusty baguette. Who knows? Um, but you can find me online at Laugh Love Lindy. I'm going to be taking a nap after this. But maybe later tonight. I don't know if it's going to be streamed. I'm going to be chilling at Castle Mac. We might be doing a D&D game today. It's like a Memorial Day party thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tomorrow, RPGN clip show by web dm it's really awesome we highlight a bunch of moments from the past week of tabletop gaming people submit your clips for awesome shows we want to see you the epic moments the critical fails the shenanigans happy moments sad moments all the good stuff um sunday night on Grinjack's channel we have the season finale of project athena i'm so excited but terrified all at the same time um yeah and then on tuesdays you can find me also me and greg again on tomes and tentacles the podcast by encounter role play it's called cthulhu it's super great <laughs> and then tuesday evenings on my channel i'm running out of the abyss it is, we're gonna fight some demon lords soon wednesday afternoons <laughs> again because we just can't get enough of each other <laughs> um Aww. we're gonna be playing some call of cthulhu i can't wait to meet his new character this coming week because i cried last week because his little character died um and then three hours later you can find me on encounter role play again same just i just get a little break uh, for Star Wars RPG, it's a lot of fun. I'm a 12 year old, uh, really sassy Jedi kid. Um, Thursday nights, Web DM's channel, Land Between Two Rivers. Friday afternoons for the, the most amazing show in the Big Damn Verse on Grimjack's channel, uh, Firefly RPG. And then every other Saturday, you can find me on Power Score RPG. And for the next few weeks, every other Saturday, I believe, you can find us here for Pirates of Paradise. Basically, Lindy lives and breathes D and D is what I took from that. Um, yeah. Not a problem. Uh, no, no. I don't, no. I don't see a problem no, there. No. no. Good problem. It's it's called I'm on three hours of sleep right now because I love D and D. That that that's passion. That's it's the wrong P word. That's passion. Um, <laughs> so we'll go around the players. Last time we went in a in a video order system, we'll go in reverse camera order. So we'll start with Ali. 
Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I already said how much I love it, and yeah, it's just fantastic. It's so funny. Everyone's characters are just so diverse, and it's just, it's so much fun to just sit and bask in the absolute craziness of this session. I love it so, so, so much. Um, So, yeah. Um, Yeah, so you can find me. I'm pretty much always hanging around on Scrat's Discord. I do... Um, a necromancer's wish with him on Monday nights, and yeah, that's pretty much me. So, uh, hope, thank you guys for watching, and I love this so much. Thank you. <laughs> and Greg, I, I, this is always super fun because um, I never get a chance to play with Lindy, and whenever now, um, I, when she throws something out there for it to stick, I, I love to grab and catch all the crazy. And as soon as she had a uh, uh, seer talking into a shell, I thought, I need that shell. <laughs> I want that shell. And that's the beauty of role-playing games with this group and this lot. They are fantastic. So much super fun. Lindy, you are the best. Uh, Grimjack21502 on the Twitches and the Twitters. Uh, you can find me to tonight. Jesus, doing um, Learn by Play on Wizards of the Coast from 6 to 9. And then from 9 to whenever, I'll be over on Arvin Elrond's channel as we play 1960 Spies, set in like a Mission Impossible James Bond type of scenario. Super looking forward to that. It's for a good cause too. So uh, check, this, uh, check us out there if you need it. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing the Project Athena finale for series two. Um, I can promise you that Strider's not going to be happy at the end of it. <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> I am going to, Greg, no, I'm already going to cry. He drew first blood, not me. He, he did. He really did. He did. I was there. I okay. mean, that's true, but I have so many bits, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay you, then it's up to you to save it no and then on mondays i'm atomic cthulhu on encounter role play tuesdays on web dm doing a little spell jammer 5e action on starward bound uh wednesdays with lindy on call of cthulhu uh, nothing thursdays fridays big damn verse uh two to four on my channel grimjack21502 and then starting next month conan age undreamed of where scrat and a lot of other great people are going to be joining up for little adventures in the world of Conan. And then later on this summer, I have Project Kronos starting off, actually next month, which is my additional opus to all things Pulp Cthulhu. And then later on this summer, Flash Gordon comes to the channel where we are going full Gordon. You're never supposed to, but we're doing it. Had a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Thank you so much. Next up, Katie. I had so much fun. There's not many people I would wake up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> to come and play D and D with, but I I wouldn't miss it for the world. Um, yeah, I am Katie Face on Twitter. Uh, I also do social media for Off the Table. I am a regular cast member on Off the Table. I do the D and D five E, the Burning Wheel, and the Monster Heart show there. I will be running Honey Heist here very soon, actually, for uh, Scratch Academy. Um, I'll be running Monster of the Week over on Off the Table uh, next month as well. And I'll be running another game of Honey Heist on the RPG Labs uh, Women in Tabletop uh, Gaming Month thing. Yeah, so uh, got a lot coming up. And tonight at 7, um, 8 Eastern Standard Time. I don't know time zones. Time's not real. Um, <laughs> I will be... <laughs> yeah, I'll be. It's a construct. I'll be playing Dungeon World. I do Dungeon World every other week on Mort's Magical Wares on Twitch. Um, yeah, so that's what I am involved in. So yeah, it was very fun. Thanks for having me. I can't wait to do this again. <laughs> I know, me neither. And last but most certainly not least, Kiana. Ah, uh, this is always so fantastic. I love playing the straight man to all of the shenanigans. Like she's just like so much better. And also, I'm curious as how the Raven Queen's gonna react to uh, one of her uh, one of her own kind of straying off. So that can be interesting how it's gonna impact the twins. Uh, but yeah, super excited to come back to this, uh, having some loopy ass fun uh, as we go and do some high seas shenanigans. But until we do this again, uh, you guys can find me over on Twitter at Kiana S, which is where you can find me uh, pretty much all the time. 
and I practically live on Twitter at this point. Uh, <laughs> where I'm not living on Twitter, I am living on account of roleplay in the chat or on games uh, with Monday's Atomic Cthulhu, where Greg is trying to kill me and my characters all the time. Uh, it's great fun, super fantastic. Um, I am also on WebDM with Greg <laughs> on the Tuesdays for uh, Spelljammer. Uh, I am sometimes appear over on Off the Table on Fridays uh, doing some cipher system games and stuff. Uh, what else am I? Oh yes, I have a podcast. <laughs> uh, I'm in a podcast that releases uh, new episodes every Sunday uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern uh, with me, two cool ladies talking about all things uh, tabletop. So uh, head us over on Twitter at Lady Sway. Um, and of course, uh, finally but not least, I am on this channel every Wednesday doing one-shot wonders, which is me DMing pickup games, one-shots, uh, for anybody to play in, uh, and we do a new setting every month. This month is my fantasy homebrew setting, uh, Tales from the Twisted Tower, but next month we got Ravenloft, and the month after we got Feywild. Uh, I would love to play with anybody, so go sign up, uh, with Scrat. We are actually fully booked all the way up until second week of July, which is insane. Um, I am super grateful for that. Uh, so yeah, so get in on that if you want some Fey Wild adventuring, because I would love to play. And yeah, huh, that's a lot to say, but uh, love this game <laughs> and uh, can't wait to get back into it. <laughs>